All right, enjoy. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't he's violent and hit you. Eight thousand. Wait a minute, hold that style is dialed Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us, and gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like Darth Vader. Players grab your respirators, night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruders. Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Still you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn kill Yeah It was never, ever A game I'm out Hello, what's going on everyone? It's Dan here guys. Welcome back to yet another stream week. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend and a fantastic Easter. We are continuing on with our alternate choices run of WWE 2K24 and the undisputed My Rise storyline. Now, uh, the last time we played this game was I believe last Thursday and uh, we ended up finishing the first two chapters. <gasps> Taboo word. Oh my god, how dare I? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and there are three chapters remaining. Now, the reason I know I'm going to finish these chapters uh, in this period is because I had wished I ended up doing, what, four parts of my initial run because I didn't realize how short some of these chapters were. Oh, my God, I said it again. <laughs> but literally, these chapters, like, three to five are all, like, an hour and a half a pop. They're not long at all. So uh, I will say that, um, uh, you know, they, they definitely went a shorter route on this one uh i remember even in tw uh, 2k23 uh they they based or sorry was it 20 23 yeah sorry 2k23 they even had the female uh, story you know and they actually there was multiple choices for that one too this one there wasn't so it's i mean there was but the you know what i'm talking about is the multiple choices where it would actually change into a new chapter like the chapter would be different depending which choice you made that, that only happened in the male one obviously and uh, i think it only happens once so i don't really know if the remainder of this is going to be any different uh than my initial run but i wanted to finish it regardless so i guess we'll have to find out so yeah welcome it shouldn't be that crazy i would imagine especially considering uh how much we're going through so but it's great to be back, and I'm ready to rock and roll with some more WWE 2K. Hopefully, you guys are as well. If you are, don't forget to leave a like on the stream and make sure you're saying what's up in the chat so I know you're with us as well. We're going to go through chat really quick. We'll say our hellos, and we will get right into this. Okay, let's see here. What's up, Mickey? Hey, Gerard. Hold on, I want to make sure I'm not covering anybody. I always do that to myself, and I end up missing somebody. Dim. I knew there was somebody there. Dim, Mickey, Gerard. What's up, guys? Uh, we'll put that right back. What's up, Garfield? Welcome. Hey, Adam. Hey, Devin. Good to see y'all. Uh, what's up, Walter? Hey, Thomas. Hey, Judd. Hey, Disney. Hey there, Juan. What's up, Kyosuke? Hey, Joao. How's it going? <clears throat> uh, JPS was good. Hey, Trey. Hey, Tim. Welcome. Uh, one second. Okay. What's up, Monet? Welcome. Thank you guys very much for being here. Much appreciated. Uh, let us go ahead. And Sorry, I got to just get this thing pulled up here. Let's go ahead and load up our game. Oops. I totally forgot to open oh, out dare i sorry you'd think i was ready it's like when i go the one thing i noticed okay the one thing i noticed is that whenever there's like some sort of va like not like not vacation but there's like a you know stat holiday of some sort i it's like i forget how to youtube completely and um it's like i, I don't know it's like i'm the rustiest person in the world it's like i haven't spoken to an audience in only a couple in like one extra day oh my goodness gracious yeah <laughs> you know what i mean but it's part of the charm i guess it's part of the charm now uh this chapter here uh involves gunther's intercontinental championship excuse me i know i'm having my voice here intercontinental championship and i don't really know why this was considered a chap championship this charitable donations by the way this charitable donations this was the one that we need to do a uh submission 
So I'm hoping this is the one we actually lost when we, we actually didn't win because my submission wasn't high enough. So I'm kind of wondering if I should go into my attributes and increase my submission one more time. I know I'm saving up, but I think bring it to a level four just to help me up a little bit because I'm not a technical wrestler at all in this. Like the, no, my player isn't. So I think what I might do is, I mean, Ava Moreno has one and Geneva Rose has a side mission. I tend to usually do the so these these bad boys first. So we'll start with Ava. I think once you finish with Ava's, that's when you're kind of ready to rock. And then he pops in. Hey, I know you've been dominating, but looks like you might have an even bigger test coming with Gunther and Imperium. Probably makes sense to get ready for anything. And since there isn't a ton of time, you might as well get ready for everything all at Chompy. once. Chompy. Chomping at the bit. extreme rules match against Tommaso Ciampa? It's the perfect way to prepare for that tough battle ahead, you know? Why not? And literally, it's like the most filler of filler matches you could possibly imagine. What's up, Adam? How are you doing? Welcome. There's nothing better than extreme. Maybe not completely, but. Unbridled madness and mayhem reigns supreme. There's always a lot of anticipation. It's dormant. Like this. It lays it's dormant on holidays. Rules. We should expect the unexpected. That oh, I can have a way to that. Finds its mark. Yes, sir. On the attack from behind, textbook neckbreaker. Boom. Well, let's get him outside. We got to do some. Step up in Zagari. Standing shooting star. I want to keep the momentum incredible. up. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Come with me, sir. He oh, he got out of that money. Back. So did I. He's able to fend off the attack. Tommaso Ciampa needs to figure out He's chomping at the bit. Ciampa's resiliency is being tested here. Into the corner now. Setting him up for something here. Oh my gosh, what impact. Looking for a little bit of high risk here. It seems. He's stunned. You might as well take advantage. Uh-oh. Way too low. Diving moonsault. Okay, can I get a ladder bridge? Yes, I can. Some of them don't. But I might as well ladder bridge his ass. Ring apron right now. You've got to wonder what he has in mind here. I always like to do the ladder bridge. Ladder bridge is fun. I remember when they first introduced it. I'm power bombing okay, Bechez, but one of my favorite things was to throw him over the edge. Positions him up on the ladder. A dig from the top. Oh God! Improving a bit slippery for them there. <laughs> Since he's being a little baby back bitch. Perhaps I'm gonna power bomb him instead. I just talked about it. Out of you. What Never the? Never a good time for that to happen. Great strength being shown here. Oh, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. Oh, the ladder hits. Full force of that attack. In order to succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit. He needed guys. to do that. Tommaso managing to get some control back now. Ow. Tommaso was getting grinded down, but it might have just made him stronger. Got him with the bulldog. Sometimes you gotta get up early. Oh, what hell? What hell, I said. What hell? Wait, what? Why the hell did he get up first? That makes absolutely no sense. And he got out of that money. Get in! Oh, that's so fucking frustrating. Oh, my God. It's like... You know what's funny? Is there's a part of me that's like... I would rather play a different game right now. And you want... It's like, ah, no, it'll be fun. And then you encounter stuff like that. It's like, that's why. It's just so annoying with the random shit. This game really, like, shit in the bed with certain things. It's like literally the same game. But it, it somehow is making more mistakes. I don't know. You guys know me. I've been bitching about it the entire time. There's something I can do a finisher. There we go. Here, Meryl. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Come on, seriously? Does it really have to come to this? We're undoubtedly nearing the end. There is no way this can go on for much longer. I forgot he grabbed the table. They asked for it. They're going to get it. He's setting his 
table up and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. Enziguri finds its mark. Setting them up on the table. The table is set. Taking this one back. Uh oh. Oh. That is reckless abandon me. I haven't done that. I've, I've gone to the top rope a million times. This targeting situation for the Blackheart. Champa has to weather a storm. Get him with the with the whammy here. All right, let's go top rope and go for the corner. Okay, I'm going up. And I'll go with the pin combo. Why not? We don't do this finisher often. I forget it even exists. I forgot I got it. <laughs> That's it. I love that they wanted it again, but it's like, bro. What else do I have to do? WWE Universal Champion. I don't know. I, I I've just figured like like this story wasn't. It was okay towards the end. I think it had some cool elements as we got towards the end of it. But um, I don't know. I just thought this particular chapter with Gunther was such a waste because you don't actually get to hold. Oh, spoiler! Spoiler there. <laughs> uh, you don't actually get to hold. The Intercontinental title. So it's kind of like, you know. Okay. So I'm going to have to make a choice. Charitable. I think charitable domination should be available now. Yeah. Listen, champ. I've been thinking. The ring can turn into a right old brawl. Bodies flying and bones cracking. But there's a glimmer of beauty in that chaos. Now, what if we could take all that pain and fury and put it to good use, eh? A charity submission match where the art of the tap out meets the heart of raising a few quid for those in need. What you say? We'll do it, but I can't lose this. Like I said, last time I fought him, I lost because my submission was at a one. So I was smart enough to increase it to at least a four for this match. So, I'm going to absolutely slap, like, this will be a slobber knocker. I'm, I'm going to just confirm that it is, I don't know what kind of match rules we got. Everything's off, so we can just go ahead and Wu-Tang him. But we do have an extra, don't forget, we do have that one side mission that we didn't do in Chapter 1 originally. So, that's going to give us a bit of extra across the board. I'm going to have to really hurt him. No count outs, nothing. Ow. I love how it's a BC dub. Let's get him onto the, the gymnasium. Oh God, he got me. Ow, gym floor. I wonder if the subbies can happen anytime. Man, I can't even reverse them. <laughs> no. Just start playing NBA 2K. <laughs> Where's the net at? I never went over here before. Man, out on this hardwood. Work the arms as well. Hold on. How come?
I gotta do a finisher out on this, man. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, let's... Oh, I didn't mean to throw him. Okay, let's hit him with the cheddar. This is gonna hurt. Out on the hardwood, baby. Ooh, that's a technical foul. I thought I had a different move. I thought I th I threw it into the canvas, but like I chained it. Maybe not. I must have made it this. I thought it was the one where you just Wu Tang it. I hate this game for that, honestly. Like I said, why does he get? It doesn't matter. See why? How come the entire time he's getting up, I like they don't they didn't design an animation for me to actually do anything to him. Like it doesn't make sense. It's been a common problem. Oh shit! Let's go backstage. I, this is the first time I've been prompted. That's really funny. I didn't know I could actually walk back here from this. That's too good. So the submission match can happen wherever I want. I know the feeling. Let's try and get it. See, look how easily, like, he was on his way out. You have to wear him down with submissions. That's the annoying thing with this game. So I have to do this submission, like, 14 times. Pick him up. No reversals, please. Because I can do this as many times as I want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, let's just charge finish. Supper shot. How is he still this hard? The same thing happened last time. Like, look, how, look how fast he got out of that. How does that make sense? I just gotta go work his arms or something. Oh my god, the clipping is brutal. And I feel like it's kind of cheap. It's like, there's no way he should be able to win like that. Shit. Oh my god. I'm trying to dude I'm trying to hit him with the finisher. It's so cheap. Oh god it's getting oh through the table. 
Okay, I gotta reverse this because I feel like. There we go. Oh, he reverses it. And he gets out of it immediately. Dude, this is such a shit match. Like, how many times do I have to do that to him? You know what I mean? And now I'm, like, dead on the ground. This one I should get him with. Yeah, I remember certain animations, they work a little better. Wait, why are we back here? Oh my god, ref. So I have to go back to the ring? Really? I didn't know that. the fuck I might have to restart the match I'm not being prompted to go in the back are you kidding me It's not giving me the prompt. <laughs> Man, this game is so fucking broken. It's been out for how long? So what am I supposed to do then? Do I have to restart? This looks wrong. I might restart it. This is just ridiculous. I can't even get back. The, the, thing, the game isn't prompting me to walk back. Oh, we're spending way too much time on this. Fucking bullshit. Whatever. Thanks a lot, game. Fuck you. So dumb, guys. How much time was wasted? Like 15 minutes or so? You restart, bad start. It's kind of over it. This is what I'm talking about. It's like there's so much garbage in the game that it's like it does not work. I'm gonna do that same one though, like not the one by the head, but the one where I actually like cross face him. I mean, I would have won the match already. All you're gonna do is mash fin or er, mash submissions. Oh my god, he's reversing everything.
doing? Hold submission. I'm doing it. So you got to weaken them. And there's no way of canceling anymore. Unless you're early on in the count. No, climbing. What are you doing? What? Dude, the game's just doing it once. I'm literally holding R there. Fuck. But, okay. You know why that's annoying? I was holding L1 the entire time. It wouldn't grab the ropes. Instead, he's walking along it for some reason. By the time it does work, it gives him enough time to, like, kind of recover and reverse it. So infuriating. Like, the game bugged out. It wasn't. I wasn't supposed to leave, clearly, because it wouldn't let me go back. Trying to work his arms and the legs and things like that. Because they can't kick out as well. I was tired, so. Like, this is. You'd think he'd be deceased now. I, you'd think I'd be able to just get rid of him easily, but. Of course he did. Man, I am fucking up. Oh, he's getting the tables. All right. It's supposed to be a submission match. It's turning into an extreme rules match pretty quick. Okay, ref, I can't see. Oh my god, Dan. I'm watch me not be able to tap out of this. Oh my god. Okay. Reverse the fucking moves. Oh my god. Every move is kind of, I'm not watch me not reverse this. Maybe I can get out of it. I don't want to use resiliency unless I need to. It's so fucking annoying, though. Okay, this one. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, he got out. He used resiliency on himself. Oops. Why is he so good? Oh, I fucked up. Watch. Yeah, you got me now. I should have went for the yellow. Oh, I just missed it. Ah, oh, now I'm stunned. I need to get out of the ring is what I need. I can't reverse any of this. All right, I'm back in it. I had to do it. Hell of a gamble, and I missed. No, this is not the showcase mode. This It's my ride, it says in the title. Damn, man. I think when they did an update, they changed a lot of shit. I think they made it a bit harder. Oh, Cause look at Buddy's like health, it's so bad. 
Hey, Judd. Get up, man. You're not that hurt. No reversal option. So you finally get up and he rushes over. It keeps you down. Get up, bro. And then he gets me back. Okay, I needed to reverse that. Okay, I gotta get him in the ring. I'm gonna hit him with this. Okay, this should finish him. It's supposed to. Finally, goodness me, that took way too long. That was that was like 20 minutes for sure. Usually these types of missions are only like under 10 minutes for sure, but yeah, I was not having it. At least I did it this time. I got the bonuses. That was the only match in my original career that I had lost. So it's good to know. That I didn't. So I got 10 upgrade. No, no, I think when I lost, I got 6. So I got 10 this time. Plus I got the 5 attribute to uh, my body. So I don't know how good that's going to make it. That gave me a 29 overall though. So wait, how did I get some? Oh, because I did two challenge matches, didn't I? Okay, so I'm going to have to make a decision. My aerial running is already... My grappling could be better. I can get this to the 80s. My striking is pretty low though too. My aerial running is pretty high, except for the running offense, which is very bizarre. Because you'd think my running would be way higher or would be very close to this. Because I do a lot of running offense. My defense is in the mostly the 80s. Um, resilience is basically in the 80s. So I'm going to... Well, what else? Okay, so basically I'm going to have to make a choice. My striking is really low. This will only bring it to a 74. So the max I can get my striking is a 76. And that's when I get it to like the highest point. This brings me to a 92. So does this. I wonder if I should put my grappling into it. I think I might do that. I think I might get my grappling into the, into a 9, bring it to a 92. Kevin, thanks for being member for the last 10 months, man. Thank you very much. I hope you had a good weekend and Easter as well. We also have this uh, couple here. Hold on. That was an inspiring victory. It's one thing to say you've got to be ready to push yourself to the extreme. It's another to actually do it. Amazing. Brilliant performance. That charity match was a right blast. The way we raised those funds, even though it came at a physical expense, warms the old, this old heart. Hope we can carry that momentum forward against Gunther. I guess we'll do this one. We got Corey Grizzle. As locker room leader, just thought you'd want a heads up. Gunther and Imperion are the least of your problems. What now? Isn't he the guy who was like fucking around? He's very disturbing backstage, but I got attacked by no reason by Baron Corbin. No reason, whatever. Either way, sounds like who I'm fighting is at least your problems. Yeah, he, wasn't he trying to stir the pot? Legitimately no reason. It's your problem, too. It's total anarchy. People are exploiting Mrs. Lack of leadership without consequences. And when there's lack of authority, people turn to someone worse. You know, like Gunther. Now, if you were to do something like that, like take out Baron Corbin, might send a message there's still someone people trust. You might have a point. Great, I feel safer already. It's a grimy situation. Yeah, he's such a grease ball. Oh, well, you have any plans for tomorrow then? Over the course of his career, Baron Corbett has worn many hats, had many names, but he's put wow. all that behind him. He got me he's first. Burned the past and now approaches competition with a Oh, focus. damn. He's slower, so he's slower than I thought. Oh, my God, Dan, reverse something. Just let him beat me. <laughs> Something break on He's right there too, K. And he stonewalls Corbin. Boom. Head first. Boom. 
Sorry, what are you talking about, Sam? You mean, like, me. for trophy getting purposes? The trophies actually aren't that hard. They just take a bit of time. Every single trophy in the game can be gotten oh, relatively easily. The, the only ones that might be a challenge is there's a couple of them that require you to play on Legend. I remember the the nice guy Corbin shtick. Or good guy Corbin. What did he go by? Something like that. See, that sucks because... Unfortunately, I got it. He is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Wait to steer clear. And he's bleeding. Corbin's face has seen better days. I can tell you that. Happy Cor Happy Corbin, that's what it was. Thank you. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. And up the turnbuckles we go. If this lands, it's over. Could be. I don't know. We'll see. Be all over for Corbin. Looking for the victory. Two. It is. Here is your winner, Daddy Dan King. The dark horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton. For now. For now is right. The O one. Nice work. Cloud has been left in the locker room. Everyone's much calmer. Glad I could help. Actually, there's more you could do. Um, it, it's baffling how some people keep blabbering that you're not a strong leader. Every time I hear it, I shut them down. Trust me. Mariah's saying you're doing great, and it's high time to recognize it, too. Who's saying that? I shouldn't have said anything. It's not my business. Everyone's got their opinion. Just because I heard Seamus talking about some nonsense doesn't mean anything. Seamus, Seamus said I'm not a strong leader. That really doesn't sound like him. That's why I'm so legit shocked to hear it. He keeps calling you a paper tiger. Said you can't handle Baron Corbin, but according to Seamus, a legit wrestler like him isn't scared of an empty threat like you and Gunther isn't either. His words, not mine. Sounds like Seamus and I need to have a little chat. We're lucky to have you. Honestly, what's funny about that is like you can have a little chat and be like, Seamus, Grimes is saying you're saying all this shit. Is that true? And you'd probably be like, no. What the fuck are you talking about? And then, boom, you know who the problem is. Can't wait to see the locker room leader absolutely mash that pasty potato. Is this how I find out I'm going to face the champ? No, get beaten down by the champ. Okay, but any locker room leader who needs Cameron Grimes to do his talking for him is nothing more than a joke. If he wants to see me in the ring without even a conversation first, I'll happily show the world why he's too scared to put his title on the line. Nobody speaks for me, Seamus. For the record, I was planning on having a conversation. But since I'm apparently such a joke, maybe we should straight, get straight to the punchline. See you in the ring. Money's on the champ. It's just a bunch of, like, I don't know, back and forth bananas. Banana cream salads. You're probably asking, Dan, what the hell is a banana cream salad? Exactly. Well, this is a non-title matchup. Let's not Nonsense. ignore that the champion has quite the chip on their shoulder coming into this. Yeah, they'll be able to walk out of this one with their title. I'm hitting regardless. buttons. Come but on. But you know they'd rather get the win and prove they really Oh, and he reversed it into a powerbomb. You're right, Corey. They're definitely not going to want to be shown up in this one. Yes, and Devon, that's exactly what I'm doing. All -out fight. Sheamus doesn't concern himself with pomp and circumstance. Yeah, Corey, Sheamus wastes no movement when he's in the ring. That's the move I Everything thought I, I got was that move, but apparently I've got the intention. arm stomp. It's faster. You just keep chucking it into the canvas. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Reversal catches Sheamus there. Overcut connects. Ridiculous standing shooting star. The Probably the last time, though. Off, but what a display. What a way to block your abilities. How in the world? Attacking the knee. Boom. Takes out the knee. Gets out of there in a hurry. He'll take things what do you mean? Why is it so hard? He turns it around. Not the position you want to be in right now. They, oh, I almost got the cheese. Just launched. Brilliant attack that very few superstars can uh, You're better off going to look at the my project list, Sam. Head to the channel and hit the description. It'll show you everything there. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. I mean, the game's not hard per se. It depends on difficulty you play. I play on hard, so. Him down a 
That's my thing. But I wouldn't say the game's hard. It's just it can be frustrating because a lot of times the moves don't line up. Like your character will randomly miss attacks, even though like, oh wow, really? Just get up. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the rain. Hey Tyler. Ooh, stinging kick. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering. Working those legs. To me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. No, no, no. And back in the ring. Oh, what the hell was that? There's going to be some second guessing about trying that move again. He heads outside. Count outs legal in this. Sling blade. Vicious right forearm. Good. Golly, Miss Molly. The Celtic Warrior in bad shape here. The power of shame is being suppressed. Hey, Swift, how you doing, bro? Oh, there's the old stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Ooh. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some from the heavens. Ooh, big splash. Taking flight. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto the I'm trying opponent. to get his legs down. Debilitating attack on the leg. Oh man. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. He's running into some problems here, guys. Yeah, he's got to surmount this storm coming at him. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. He saw it coming. He's back into the ring. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Super kick! Trying to find his Actually, I'm going to do a spear. I haven't done one of those in a hot minute. Spear. I think that... I don't know if that's enough. He's... Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't think it was. Oh, man. Somehow, Sheamus managed to kick out, and I don't think he's going to... From the heavens... He's in the red now, maybe. The Celtic Warriors chances are waiting. Yeah, Sheamus is... Man, that was such a Got long him. and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. That was so long and so hard. Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounded like he had money a beast. on it. It was good. It was good. It was good. Uh, Dealt with some stuff with the apartment. But I think crazy. Watch the game. You know. Anyway, there should be no doubt that Dan is running the show. Everyone saw firsthand what happens when you cross Cameron Grimes, baby. Dark Horse brings the pain. Not trying to bring pain, just trying to lead. Is that what the fight was about? 20 lousy dollars I owe you. I've been carrying her. I can't read it that fast. I'll just wait till it's done. I hate that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hey, where were we? Uh, Dark Horse brings the pain. Okay. 20 lousy dollars I owed you. I've been carrying around the cash for a week. I just haven't seen you. Next time you'll remember to make an effort or else I'll have to call on my enforcer. Show me some respect. Your enforcer. Enforcer, his enforcer, our enforcer, because you keep the locker room on such a right track with your impressive leadership. I thought you were trying to create a harmonious locker room, but it sounds like you were orchestrating things to settle your own scores. First with Corbin, now this. My score is nowhere a great team. We've been keeping things running smooth. For the first time, the locker room is problem free. No, it's not. It's obvious who the real problem is. Not me. All I want is peace. And all I want you is in pieces. Is you in pieces. See you in the ring next week. Come on, you talk about this. Hello? <laughs> Left him unread. Hey, Nick. Doing good, bro. How you doing? Tonight, the WWE Universal Champion is facing off against a tattletale of tall tales and Cameron Grimes. We'll find out if stitches get stitches. Whatever happens in the ring, Cameron Grimes has it coming. You can't expect to play the locker room king like a pawn and get away with it. You do what you have to do. No matter what happens tonight, Grimes is already a winner in my book. He was just taunting. He wasn't even setting up a move. Ridiculous standing shooting star. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Planning on what to do next. Targeting the throat there. And the pressure on Grimes continues to mount. Yeah, the wheels are coming off the wagon for Grimes here. Running Swanton finds the mark. Everything is getting a nice little beat down here. Every part of it. Expected that one. 
Probably October. Hold on a second. He might be October this year, we'll get a... Really? Get out of here, Grimo. Impressive. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Oh, the catapult? Yeah, that was sick. I know exactly what you're talking about. Power bomb with one message in. Gosh, springboard. Corkscrew moonsault. Damn. That can really hurt someone's neck. You know, if you land funny. Oh, I hate that move because it's so easily reversed. Question. Do they still make... Um... Uh, shirts available for sale um, for Bray Wyatt. A bit of intimidation tactics from Kip. Not allowing that to go on any longer. And he goes into the ring. Because I feel like if you do sell product, you have to. It should the proceeds should go to his family, no? Beats the count out and what a close call. Staring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. That should be enough. I remember the storyline me kind of meh. Nothing special. Daddy. All right, grime time, Sitchy. Okay. Next up is over here, I believe. Geneva Rose has something for me. I'm just going to see. 24, I, it's not enough for anything. I mean, it is. I can get my... I'm not going to bother with that, though. Um, thanks for taking care of Cameron Grimes. He's a real piece of work. We're all really lucky to have you around. Speaking of, I know a few other guys caused some real trouble in the locker. We're happy to send you a list. You saw what just happened to Grimes, right? Point taken. <laughs> Don't start. Do not start. All right, we'll do the Geneva connect contention. It's funny because uh, Geneva was obviously the TBD general manager. It's cool how it like oh playing God. the female side it's changes. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. <gasps> Can I have your autograph? Hey, Geneva. What brings you to these parts? You finally ditching that indie promotion and hitting the big time? Never. TBD is my home. You know I love the blood, sweat, and tears of the indies. WWE is all gloss and glamour. Seriously? I guess you've missed the last couple years of my run here. Jeez, relax. Somebody's lost their sense of humor since they worked for me. Sorry. I'm just a bit on edge with everything that's been going on. You know, if you want to get some extra work in to prepare for Gunther, we've got a TBD show coming up. And we just so happen to have an opening on the card. It would be nice to get some work in to prepare for Imperium. All right. I guess I can RSVP yes to TBD. What's the ETA? That's the spirit. I'll send you the details. This is the thumbs up. It's just so good. It'll be good working with you again, Geneva. Hey, True. I know I've already got all this stuff. Okay, so... This this one, I believe, I chose to wrestle in Japan. So I'll have to... Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, shit. Hold on. Pause. Pause, please. Yeah, so I chose Japan. So I'm going to probably end up... Uh, going with Mexico. I think you have an option to fight in Mexico. That could be a different storyline, but... Wow, that's embarrassing. Come on, dude. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Oh. I love that reverse bulldog. So much air. 
It's one of my favies. Was it Geneva trying to come out? I never understood why. Oh, never mind. I love how Kaiser was supposed to, like, do a damage to me, but that was terrible. Where'd he go? Dude, he disappeared. I was going to kick his ass. He didn't even do anything to me. Oh, I just gotta slam him. Slam him, slam him. I thought I could slam into like that barricade, but it's not interactable. Oh, he was going for a move, but it turned into a corkscrew elbow. That's awesome. Oh, he got me. That's dirty. Oh, I could have easily reversed that. Okay, I'm going up high. Let's see if that'll do it. I haven't even hit him with a finisher. I don't even know if I need to. Nope. Got him. I, again, that was probably one of the worst run-ins I've ever been a part of. Like, homeboy failed. He was supposed to send a message, and all he did was just... He actually... I think I hit him, and then he ran off. I hit him, and he ran. No matter how far you run, you'll never escape Imperium's reach. Dude, that wasn't much of a reach. It was kind of comical, you know? It's like, nice try, but... Now that's what I'm talking about! Top-notch TBD action! That was wrestling at its finest. As the person in the ring, I can assure you, it most definitely was not. Now don't be such a baby. No need to be salty. This was a great night. You knew that was going to happen with Imperium, didn't you? You set me no. up. No. And, frankly, I cannot believe after all we've been through, you could accuse me of something like that. Set you up? Me working with Imperium? No. Now, did I think it was a possibility that Imperium could find out you were wrestling for TBD and show up? Yeah. Is that maybe part of the reason I asked you? Sure, but that's not the same thing as setting you up. Look, you got a chance to get work in, and I got a chance to make some dough. So we both win. Did we? I'm starting to remember why I stopped working with you guys. Always looking to make an extra buck. Yeah. Isn't that the whole point? It's a business. And business is going to be good after all the buzz around this. Glad I could help. <laughs> Me too. Big fan, Dan. Seems like you're doing in outside WWE now. How about taking a trip to Japan? Incredible opportunity to showcase your skills. Let's make wrestling history. You know how long that flight is? Stay closer to home. Come on down to Mexico. So, yeah, this is one of those ones. This is what I was talking about. I went to Japan because I had gone to uh, Mexico when I went with the NXT route. So, um, anyway. 
Seriously doubt Gunther and Imperium is going to follow me around the globe to attack me in the middle of your shows. Who cares? We'll sell out if there's a 1% chance Imperium shows up. FOMO is real. Exactly, just printing. I'll fly you first class. Come on, Japan is waiting. Mexico's close, what do you say? I'm going to do Mexico this time. Love the Lucha tradition. It'll be fun to see it firsthand. I'm in. Bueno, can't wait. You're going to have a blast. It, it really doesn't matter. This was one of those minor decisions. It doesn't imp impact much at all. I think this is literally the last decision that I would have made. But I never fought in this big dome. What's the what's the the situation here? Okay, it's just a regular match. He's already cut. I hate that. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I mean. I, I should be able to grab him, but they didn't program it. So if you attack him during that moment, that transitionary period, the back of my neck would have hit the barricade. See, now he's going on a streak because the game doesn't have anything programmed for an attack at that from certain moments, you know? And he reversed it. I'm gonna have to get in the ring. Shit. Dude, I'm not losing this. What the fuck? I kicked. I kicked him. Oh, I, shit. I, I wasn't ready for him. Normally, I'm good at those rebounds, because you can usually tell, but... I was let the stamina. I was kind of mashing buttons just to get out of that situation. Oh, he showed me. I was literally just about to start running. And now he's doing it. Oh, my God. I got out of that money. Easiest one to reverse. Easiest move. I would have had my signature so many times by now, but I've used it on uh, on just getting up. Oh, he was quicker on the fly. I gotta wait. Really? Way too soon, brother. I gotta get up. See, I wanna get up and I wanna hit him with my signature. There it is. Big mistake, pal. One bad bumper sticker. Come on, ref, count it. Should be enough. No, probably not. I don't really watch wrestling anymore. It's so funny when I tell people that, they're like, Oh my god, you don't? It's like, no, I don't. <laughs> You're not allowed to play the video games then. <laughs> I had someone say that to me too. <laughs> It just like like I said, man. It, it it just becomes predictable and just a little repetitive. So 
That's why I kind of stopped watching it. I like to play the video games, though. I still, I'm aware of what's going on. I still follow pages and stuff just to kind of keep tabs. I just don't know all the storylines. Jaffiel? Anyway, I can get this into the 80s, but it's just like, is it worth it? My strength goes to a 10. Grapple offense is still an 83, though. So it's like, do I want my d defense and reversal is kind of what I want to upgrade. Who needs Gunther and Imperium when you've got a sellout? Advanced sales for our next show are up, too. Longest reigning Intercontinental Champ of all time goes where he pleases. Dan, and right now, that is SmackDown. The ring, ring general will be waiting for you to return when you decide to stop running. Kaiser, you ran away from the ring when you tried to run in on me. So, now, here's something. I'm going to say something that could be quite controversial. You could. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> or, <laughs> now this is something that could be quite controversial. Okay, going, going, Gunther. Let's go ahead and finish up this chapter with the only mission oh, in it. move. Challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. That's who fortune favors, Troy. The bold. I suppose we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that means you have some good news for me. And Miz has agreed to my request for a match with Gunther. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Miz giving you anything without strings? Could you even imagine? <laughs> no, but I didn't imagine having to deal with you at the airport either. Lucky day for everyone. Gunther could certainly be in the cards, but why rush into it when Miz has so many hand-picked opponents for you? Like Bronson Reed, who you'll be taking on in a non-title match next. You ready to head to the arena? This might be the first time you've ever given me good news, Troy. I can't wait to get Bronson in the ring. My goals reach no higher than the happiness of SmackDown's WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed. You left out a word there, buddy. All right, yes, I'm ready. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion giving a huge opportunity to his opponent tonight. A huge opportunity would be putting the title on the line. That's ridiculous, Corey. The champ has never backed down from a challenge. Because he's blinded by his ego, Cole. Sooner or later, that's going to catch up to him. Oh, with authority! He switches it back around. Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. Airway crash neckbreaker. Again, why I said... I, no way! I just... Suicide dive! <laughs> Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Enzagiri finds its mark. Sorry. Um, I mean... Whip back into the ring. I, again, I don't watch it, but I, I've been Big seeing four. via, like, The Rock Ooh, socials what's what? kind of been going on with him and Cody Rhodes, which is pretty the crazy. Impact. It seems like they're really bring, trying to bring track back track. that era. Yeah, but he's not you know? breathing heavy yet. He's heading back to the ring. Which I can appreciate. Oh, well scouted by Reed. Put her in a position now. This is tough. She can airline mouse for that. It couldn't have felt good being sucked around like that. Just had to wait on it. Oh, that got turned around on Reed. How did it scout it? I love how his leg just automatically becomes bulletproof. Reed dropped it. Like, he's supposed to be, like, a heavyweight, so, like, I'm having trouble knocking him down. That's kind of their idea here. Oh, man, I'm missing that one. I don't want to waste my... Come on. Dude, I swear I'm hitting it right now. I keep missing... Okay, just stop talking, then. It's like I go to explain it, and then I miss the next reversal, and I'm like, I'm bitching about that one next. <laughs> it's like a non-stop thing, you know, over and over. I like cheese. Not today. Give me some. Oh, See? Right in there. It's, that, I think a lot of these moves aren't working because of the weight. He might be considered a super heavyweight because I've been able to lift heavyweights no problem. 
and shooting star. Hey Dan. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. So this one I've He's gotta do my strike animation. Yeah, Cole, cool, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, what a spear. I don't think that'll do it. This is troublesome for Reed. That's gotta be it. Two count. Yeah. The champion with a big win here tonight. Wait, it's Gunther. Oh man, here we go. You asked for this, champ. The Dark Horse called out the longest reigning intercontinental champion in history. And the ring general is giving his answer. Gunther getting right in the WWE Universal Champion's face. And our so-called undisputed champs not doing a damn thing about it. Who cares? Yeah, like I said, very, I don't know, I just thought this was such a lazy storyline, this one with Gunther. Anyway, Dan Fears Gunther, you see his face, uh, blah, blah, fuckity blah. It's so generic. It's not the funniest thing you've ever seen. It's just, it's just not. I don't know, man, maybe I'm old and jaded now, but it's just like, Where it's not. Where the hell is he, Troy? <laughs> oh, right, sorry, I have Our to Our general manager? One. He doesn't report to me. Zero interest in small talk, Troy. I want Gunther now. We'll get mad about it. Do you? I mean, he was standing right in front of you and you didn't do anything about it. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, champ. But it's all over social media. I was just reading a post from Roman Reigns that made you look like a joke. All the more reason not to keep stalling. Except there is. Our Intercontinental Champion is very important to the future of SmackDown, and Miz is off making sure that his top superstar is happy. Uh, what now, Troy? What flaming hoop do I have to jump through for Miz to give me what both of us already want? You will be facing the Ring General's top lieutenant, Ludwig Kaiser. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Miz is doing the thing where he tries to wear me down before my next big match. Miz would never... This should be a Troy match, you know, where you face Troy. I'm out, Troy. I'll beat Kaiser. Then Miz had better give me Gunther so we can settle this once and for all. Let's be clear. The universe knows Gunther is one true champion. <laughs> you must understand the pecking order around here, Kaiser. Looking forward to showing you that in the ring. Whatever you say. We're going to kick... I mean, the last time we interacted with Kaiser was when he ran in on me during TBD, in which case he tried to attack me, but he just stood there. And they were talking about, oh, you did nothing. It's I like, bro, it really? Gunther was so quick to confront the champ last week, but now he sends out his flunky to do the fighting As far court. as I'm concerned, Kaiser's just a type of fucking bread. It's a type of bun. Gunther has already received the Kaiser bun. tactical advantage as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is fighting for a chance to face the Intercontinental Champion, which is the opposite of how it usually works. Vicious right forearm. He skirts around it. Fails to connect on the springboard. And Ludwig can't find a way off the box. Kaiser is being worked on heavily. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oh, Swanton. Gonna spam him with. Standing spam him with tons of moves. Incredible. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. <laughs> Drop kick to the back. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Oh, Ooh, sure. Ooh, that's Phil. Ludwig was ready for that. Kick to the face. He continues to press forward. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord, Phoenix Splash. One of the most impressive moves I've ever seen. Two. The champ. He hit me one time. Kaiser got annihilated, bro. There's no other way of putting it. Think the ring general wouldn't have a plan? This was a trap all along. And the dark horse walked right into it. Score one for Gunther. 
I mean, I'd have too much. I'd have too much energy. This wouldn't really affect me. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I'm being so jaded. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with being bred? Everything. Just kidding. Being bread is delicious. I really don't want to hate on it. It's so good. <laughs> Doesn't matter which kind you have. They are just. It's a clutch carb. You know, the king of the carbs. <laughs> All hail Gunther, the era of Dark Horse champion, blah, blah, blah. Age of who gives a fuck has begun. Every time you count me out, you end up eating the numbers as soon as they're out of your mouth, Miz. Era's far from over. Ah, oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. Uh, Miz wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. That's not exactly how he phrased it on social media. I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. Uh, I'll have to put in a call. What's up, John? I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure you want to be doing this right now? No, no, I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, up close and personal. Then you'll be happy to know that Miz has given you exactly what you want. You'll get your wish when you face Imperium next week in a gauntlet match. All right, undisputed champion finally gets what he wants. Imperium in a gauntlet match on SmackDown. Imperium goes down one member at a time. Hey, Stup, what's up? What's up? What's up? Sorry, Stup, what's up? What's up, Stup? <laughs> there won't be any traps tonight. The WWE Universal Champion gets his hands on Imperium one by one. I missed. You say that like it's good for the champ, Saxon. How much of him do you think is going to be left by the time he gets to go back? The champ has faced down the odds from night one, Corey. That's why they call him the Dark Horse. Standing shoot! Incredible. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. See, the thing is, in a gauntlet match, they go down a lot faster, like a lot easier. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Sometimes you just gotta show He's trying to roll out the ring. Up. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Extend your elbow. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. A double leg drop. A beautiful swan time. Quick sidestep by Vinci. Oh, what a close line. Continuing to work on the arm with a drop in the knee. Oh, I missed him. No way that hurt. And Tagiri finds its mark. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh. He is having his way in this one now. He's mixing precision and physicality with his attacks here. Ah, oh, I was wondering if that was one too many of those. Ow. Oh, face first off the post. Done. Uh oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. It's cinched in. I think we're just moment moments away from what? He needs to find an escape route. Moments from what? Nice. Super That's that it. Do it right there. He's out. Giovanni Vinci. I wanted to save my finisher for the next. Competitors to come after this entrance. This is awesome. Next into All right, Kaiser Bun is Ludwig Kaiser. You're not allowed to taunt, you're not allowed to do anything until he gets in here. Because they don't want you getting an unfair this advantage. Already hurting, and he's only in the second fight of the gauntlet. Of course he's hurting. Vinci wasn't in that first. <laughs> Dude, if that's all it takes, that'd be so fucking funny. And shoulders are down. There's two. Oh, that would have been so good. You see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. That was the home run. Uh, there's a springboard into a... Damn, I like slammed his head down. 
That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. Oh God. You have daring and you have stupid. You're an idiot. Was stupid. No, grab him, grab him. No! I got him reversal. Dude, yeah. grab him. What are you doing? No Slick blade. Geyser is being worked on heavily. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's gonna Her happen. Powers, bitch. Referee's count only getting higher. Oh, oh, I got double check. Is there I think so. DQ is on, yeah, yeah. I uh, gotta get back in the ring. He's back in. Oh, what is that? I got lucky. You do not want to lose that way. Hey Jason. It's good. How's yours? That's what you call impact. Strong kick. My goodness. Stop puller leg snap. Oh, snap your hamstring. Uh-oh. Way too high. I don't know if it's enough. Falling behind. This is where his fortitude will be put to the test. No, nope. I was hoping not to use my signature on him, but I might have to. Get up. Super kick time. Oh, he got out of that money. Fine. Oh, he got out of that too. Are you serious? He reversed everything. That's really annoying that you reverse both those. No doubt Ludwig is having trouble here. Kaiser is being worked on heavily. Oh, I tried to get the reversal. Too early. Your mom. <laughs> Got him. How many backflips? Slips out of the way there. Uh, check this out. Kaiser with the STO. Reverse style DDT. Two. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh, fuck this fucking game, bro. Such a waste of time. Tonight, the WWE Universal Champion gets his hand on Imperium one by one. Unbelievable. It's good for the champ, Saxton. How much of him do you think is going to be left by the time he gets to Gunther? The champ is facing. Yeah, nothing the apparently. Right one Corey. That's why they call him the Dark Horse. Ooh. Evades their offense. Boom! What an uppercut! Pinning down their opponent's arm and a carefully measured knee drop. Whoa! Not quite yet. And they failed to hit the mark. Hey, Red. Swanton finds the mark. Oh, lands right on the knees. That can change everything. And Vinci gets that set right back to it. Slip play. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Turned that one around. Set up in the corner of the ring. What a drop kick. Headed up, he's thinking big. From the heavens, big time splash. Is it enough? Two count, and he kicks out at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Devastating kick. Giovanni Vinci fears no man. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. Quick sidestep by Vinci. It's a gear. So waste. Whenever they reverse, you have to get all that momentum back and do it all over again. Around. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Gut red suplex. Well placed kick. Yeah. <laughs> Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. High impact crossbody. It wouldn't let me reverse that one. Oh, what was that animation? Oh, goodness. I wasn't expecting a kick to the face. Nicely done. 
I think I would have had him beat already. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Shit. Vinci with the handle on the big slam. Cover. He breaks the ref's count before two. See, I thought I had resiliency too, so I don't really understand why that last guy beat me. I got a reverse. Kick gets caught. So athletic. See what happens. Man, this is taking me fucking forever. It's so annoying. No way. The slingshot somersault plancha took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Get at least damage him out here. F5, thunderous. Oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dead. Does he have him here? Why do you have to? Why have to go there? I mean, I get you want to see where his shoulders come up. Now I've got two finishers ready. They are out of here, and after this, two more entrants to go. Next into the gauntlet. I wish I had. You know what? I wish I had like a a triple thing. Just look at the WWE Universal. Like you know, a triple finisher move. Already hurting, and he's only in the second fight of the gauntlet. Of course he's hurting. Vinci wasn't in the oh, spear. Can that keep Kaiser down? If this lands, it's over. Phoenix splash. Can he take advantage of this? Is it enough? The cover. That's wow. <laughs> that time it worked. The fun's not over yet. Here's our final entry. The next fully oh, will win. win. This, this isn't who we expected. Where the heck is Gunther? Must be another tactical move by the ring general. I love it. Can the dark horse take down the surprise opponent? What's going on here? Has Ilya Dragunov joined Imperium? He's at least stepped in to replace Gunther tonight in what I assume is an attempt to throw the dark horse off his game. What better man to recruit than one you've been to war with? Another incredible chess move by the ring general to punish the champ in this final gauntlet match. Sequence of reversals there. Ooh. And Dragunov finds himself on the defensive. Ilya has to trust his instincts at this point. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. Ah, oh, springboard. Oh, straight to the floor. He was still getting up. I didn't wait long enough. Quick, quick, start attacking. Attack, 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 attack. Ooh, I had to mash. He reversed it. They all do. Time for Dragonov to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. It's incredible the inventiveness we have seen on display here. And Zagiri finds its mark. And Dragonov is brought to a disadvantage now. And Dragonov stuck and looking. Will that stop Dragonov? Plan has failed. Hang on. Got their front box with the intercontinental title. And the champ is down. I just love how during these the moments we're just so unaware. Imperium. The age of Imperium. Age of Imperium. Imperium. Alright. 
After barely surviving a gauntlet match with Imperium, Gunther laid out the undisputed Universal Champ in a display of ruthless aggression. Ring General wishes to thank his finest opponent, Ilya Dragunov, for punishing. Punishing my fucking ass, dude. That's not what happened. That didn't happen. It didn't. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE Universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Maybe the WWE Universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What do they even call your run, huh? All this time as WWE Universal Champion, has anyone ever actually said it's your era? They don't have to say it. They know. Well, good news! After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no-disqualification match, just like you wanted. Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. Thank God it's Friday. All right. Contrary to dirt sheet uh, rumors, Gunther will not be defending the Intercontinental Championship. Only, only Universal Championship will be on the line. Use your confidence, Miz. Should have sound like you're scared. I'm gonna walk away with all the gold. That's why this is so dumb. It's like, why can't, why not just put the Intercontinental on it? You know what I mean? I know it doesn't fit with their storyline, but like, it's just like, what's the point? I want to win the. You can't win like I'm Intercontinental now. gold. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has stood up against. What the fuck? It's missing, guys. I'm hitting it. It just goes yeah, right through yeah, it, and then yeah. they go on a you run. It's so like dumb. Protecting this guy. History has proven that the dark horse can overcome. What's the point? Not. If I want to spam moves, I'm gonna spam some fucking moves. Your name is a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. He must have seen that coming. Both knees into the face. Uh oh, this is not gonna be pretty. Leg breaker. How is it possible that like a previous year's game like runs better? I mean, I know they added some stuff, but. Uh oh, look out! Oh. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Gunther is being subjugated to a beatdown. From the heavens. Ow. To land. Missed the mark. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Taking it outside the ring now. Pick him up. I'm going to throw him into that exposed tourney. Oh, he got out of it. Just kidding. Saxony might get caught. Oh! Springboard! Shooting star to the floor. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting what are you doing? And accuracy as well. He returns to the ring. Oh, man. Oh. Look at that gash on Gunther's face. I did hit him with it. I was hoping to do multiple. Doing lots of damage with an isolated attack on the challenger's leg. Looking wobbly in the corner. Looking a little out of it. Up on that turn. Uh oh, this is this is risky. Here we go. Dangerous. From the top. From the top. That was awesome, Cole. That's oh, distracted. Oh, I hate these. The champ showing us who's in control. All right. The distraction shouldn't be this long. You have a match. I can't do anything. I'm locked in. There we go. Finally, I'm free. Ooh, ooh harsh kick. Saw it coming and got out of there. Shifts it back onto him. Gunther sidestepped that one. Gunther has everything working against him now. Perhaps Gunther needs to go back to the drawing board. Champ has this one in hand now. Him. Oh, shoulder up before 
tad early. Just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? Oh, kick! Nasty kick. Gunther showing he is not out of it. Gunther could be turning his fortunes around. I had to wait for it. And that prevents Gunther's offense. And Zagiri finds its mark. And now he's producing some overwhelming offense. I have no stamina. Determined look now. Taking a moment to get pumped off of Muscles up there. Been driven down. Nah. Emerald Way too soon. How'd he do that? Hey, Gunther definitely thought that would put him down. I gotta let my stamina kind of get back up. After such a defiant kick out. A little bit stunned. Let's get a boost going. He has been here before and he knows what he needs to do. Off the top. Arm drag. Showing absolutely no Oh my god, dude, not again. On the line. Just slap him in the face. Slap him in the face. Why are you having to just why entertain them? Just ignore them. I hate that so much, bro. Bad predicament right here. Ooh, the champ that I'm showing you the little damage. Now I had to waste it. With incredible intensity. Slows that down with a well-placed kick. Into I guess I didn't hand. have to, but he's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. I need to hit him with a spear. No clue what he hopes to find down there. I'm sorry. Oh, there's no DQ. I didn't know that. I don't know what his plans are with that table, but it's going to hurt. He steps foot in the ring again. Oh, what a spear! I was debating on saving it, but I'm just gonna fucking take him out. But I don't get the IC title, so. champion in WWE history and he is on his way to another record now Corey Roman's record yeah yeah Rome's record before we introduce our next guest let's set the stage Cody Rhodes is still the world heavyweight champion on raw providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the dark horse has become the workhorse. Now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know how to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion. And you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy of filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A-Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A-Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question 
in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. I mean, have you noticed how everything like culminates into like war games? You know what I mean? So, anyway. Okay, so breaking has heard first on the bump. It will be Raw vs SmackDown at Survivor Series and War Games. Raw GM Regal has wasted no time announcing the his team of champs. Captain W or ugh, WWE Heavyweight Champ Rhodes, US Champ AJ Styles, and his club partners. Raw Tag Champs, Machine Gun K.A. and Big LG. Let's quit the squad if I do say so myself. Balls in your court, Miz. Alright, good heavens, my boy. What a victory. The King, the Ring General received an emotion. But now I'm, like, kind of talking. It's just like, well, yes. He's a bad dude. My chest feels like a raw hamburger. No doubt he'll be back for more. It doesn't feel that way, but... You're nice to say. I'm quite certain. It is interesting, though. You've come within striking distance of cleaning out SmackDown's locker room. It'd be interesting if your horizons were to expand. Hmm. Talk about switching to Raw, no? All right. So, step one is the attributes. So, this is chapter four now. Uh, also, not very long. It's the War Games chapter. Do I have enough? I have 44. So, I have enough to get... Well... My durability is already pretty high. They really capped you, haven't they? Just max up my reversals. I think I might do that. Or do I want to? I mean, it's still the same thing. Yeah, let's go max reverse. There should be enough time, I think, to fully upgrade everything except for submission. 96 was the highest we made. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean... I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old rival, Seth Rollins, on board. But I figured I'd let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. Right. So Seth and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. Alright. Buddy old pal, we meet again. Oh, Seth. What do you want, Seth? This might be actually be different based on our choices. Okay, we'll skip the pleasantries, but what I want is you to pick a good teammates because I'm not going out there as a Survivor Series with you and a couple of stiffs and be embarrassed by Team Raw. You do a fine job embarrassing yourself every time you get dressed, but don't worry, I got this. Funny, don't mess this up. So I think this is one where I just pick teams, isn't it? Uh, no, Rajat. I've already played Red Dead Redemption 2 multiple times already. Don't people get tired of playing the same games over and over again? Like, I don't know, man. I, I need I need variety in, in, in my thing. Anyways, so. Yeah, so all we do here is create... It, all we got to do right now is fight various people. Or sorry, well, not fight, but... So Survivor Games is like the... Fin all of these are side missions, every single one of these. Except for the Survivor Games mission. So all we're doing is recruiting people. So I really don't care which one we do. So I usually like to start on... You know, 
I usually like to start in my DMs. Anyway, everybody knows that you can't have a War Games match in Survivor Series without God's gift to SmackDown LA Knight. I didn't know that. Is that true? Uh, yeah, and you're too much of a dummy to know this already. Then give me five minutes in the ring to show you exactly what I mean. I can spare him. No, I guess what I was referring to is for the channel. I mean, even I can admit that I played a lot of KOTOR, and it's probably too many times. And now both of these sluggers are going to be throwing haymakers trying to get a fast victory. Let's find out if LA Knight... But I'm not the same as I used to. I, I play KOTOR for nostalgia's sake, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, no. How do you miss? I just have to beat him in this. A totally yeah, I got five minutes. Decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Able to evade. <laughs> he steers clear of contact. He gets back into the ring. I love this elbow drop. If I can nail it. From the heavens. All right, I, it has to, back has to be up. Countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Knight moves out of the way. Yeah, it's, it just shows its age these days. Setting foot in the ring now. But it's also a game from over 20 years ago, so. That's why the remake is so essential. I feel like it needs a modern upbringing. Just like how the Resi games needed one, too. Very outdated form format. Knees up, saw it coming, and was laying in wait. Knight caught by surprise. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. I was going to get you up anyway. That could be curtains for Knight. Snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Uh oh. Way too much. Oh, diving moonsault. It could be. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you can get a little bit extra. Yep. It's over. All it did enough strong. damage. Here is your winner. Because my aerial damage is so good. Normally that wouldn't have worked. But there, that's one of your side missions right there. <laughs> that's all it takes. That's why this chapter was so much shorter. It's because all of it is just recruiting. You recruit everybody, and then you pick three guys to be on your team, and then you do war games. That's about it. Pretty straightforward. Oops. Damn it! Annoying. Okay. Let's go back to... Wait, what is... What's Ripley doing over here? Now everyone knows LA Knight belongs on Team SmackDown. We'll see about that. Yeah, we will. Alright. Steiner. All, all this War game stock puts me in a bad mood. I lost the only one I was in and never got another go at it. It's okay, Dad. At least I won one for the family. That's supposed to make me feel better. Just wish the dog faced gremlin could lace up the boots one more time and get another shot at war games. Those days belong behind me. I might have a way to make that happen. Although, in more of a virtual arena. I'm a fan of your works. So don't take this the wrong way. What the hell are you talking about? Down, up, down, up his back. See, this is a different story, too. This one is unique. One time only special episode of the huge war games matchup featuring Rick Steiner himself. And this time he'll walk away with a dub. War games games. And they're worth a lot. Like, each one of these ones is like 20 or so. I mean, this one might be a little bit different, but. Because I don't use Submission Harmon Jot. That's not my, that's not my, that's not my thing. I never do it.
So this is a that's why this one's worth a lot more though, is because it's literally a war games practice match. A Chico Razor Ramon. Yeah, plus you only have so many so many upgrades you can get. Oh my god. So if you waste all your upgrades on a move you don't use, it just doesn't make sense to me. such a shit reversal because that's not what was gonna happen at all there. Steiner comes in to save the day. Damn. <laughs> We're shushing him. There you go, that's all I needed from him. Just gonna hang out up here. <laughs> That poor Scott Hall is getting his grapes crushed. Do a move with me. There it is. I was hoping I wanted to get a double team. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Oh, I gave him time to reverse. Oh, way too late. Oh, he's just gonna leave me alone? He was setting up his finisher. He gets reverse. Oh, I did spear him. Hey, this is so huge. Nash is a 6'11", so we really gotta work the big man. Keep those legs down.
Oh my god, that's strength. I pick him up like nothing. I can do that all day. Yeah, it's pre Roy Steiner. Didn't Steiner join NWO? As well? And you know, we had the chain mail and all that shit. That was the look I'm familiar with. Oops! I accidentally took out my own boy. That didn't work. I'm trying to get him on the table. Oh, I missed it. Ow. Oh, I might be dead. The problem with this type of game is there's so many, like... There's so many people in the ring, it's hard to... Can I borrow him, please? No! This is what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. What's going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened there, bro? I don't know what that was, but it happened. All I'm trying to do is set this up, and then I want to jump from the top. Everybody's in the other side right now. I should put Hogan for it. Then you give it to your big buddy. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Then you give it to him. You give it to Hogan. It's all shined up, spit shine, turn sideways, and straight as <laughs> I can't even do it. Stick it straight up. Oh, you candy asses. But don't fuck this up for me. See you, Red. I'm going loud! No! Oh, it's not what I wanted. Uh, see, I'm trying to put him through the table. He got off of it. I still hit him, but... I fucked it up. You know what I'm gonna do? I wanna go get Steiner, or not Steiner, sorry. I wanna go get, um, uh, us. Uh, who am I trying to go? Scott Hall is what I want. Yeah, I wanna go talk to Scott. And give him a spear and call it a day. I am down for the count. I cannot get up.
Get up, man. I'm not even that hurt, but I'm lying like I'm deceased. Bro, I'm not. I can't. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch. No! This fucking game, bro. No! <sighs> bro, I got him! Hit him quick! Distract him! Wrath! Dude! The ref was... Man, fucking game. Do you see where the ref... Look where the ref is. Why did they wait so long to, to pin? This is stupid. There you go. That was just moronic. Seriously. They, like, I was sitting there for, like, years. Rick Steiner, Scott Steiner, Michael Steiner, Christopher Steiner, Reiner Steiner, Brian Streiner, Niner Steiner. Who else? How many Steiners can we fit in here? As many as you want. Fucking shit show. That is War Games. And that's just War Games Part 1. There's, there's going to be a lot more war games. The games are filled with war. <laughs> Braun Brickman. Hey, man. It's a good name. All right. Had to figure out how to watch the video game show thing. And while it wasn't quite the wrestling in real life, I appreciated getting the virtual war games win. <laughs> Okay, we have enough points, actually, I think, for two of these. What am I vibing with? If I were to spend it all here, what would that be? I'd get that up to a seven. See, and then even then, like, you know, I guess my power, my defense is an 80, but my offense and everything, it's only in the 50, so it's so trash. So if I lower over, the, like, both of those, it's 48. So it's like, it doesn't really go up that much. So... I think I might do, and I have another one, so I can do maybe striking. Just up it a little bit. It's still a 93 overall. Okay, who else is getting the sauce? Hey, thanks for doing that for my dad. It really meant a lot to him. No problem. Let me know if you need me for war games. Feels like I owe you one now, and I know you're looking for some war games partners. If you want me to join your side, let me know. Thanks. Keep you posted. All right, Austin. Hey, Chad, just want to let you know I bleed blue and be honored to join Team SmackDown. Okay, for once in your life, drop the act and just say what you want. How about, hey, champ, I deeply crave the spotlight. So let me glom onto years of, to yours and insert myself in the main event Survivor Series. That worked? Seriously, I have no idea where you got that impression. In fact, I'll prove to you I have a good intentions and that I can be a supportive teammate. Team with me and I'll make sure we get the win. How considerate of you. I really don't need the attention. I'll bypass my singles entrance and enter with you as a sign of good faith. So I don't really believe it. I'm willing to see where it goes. See you out there. Let me know if you want to talk strategy or anything. Again, it's being the great partner I am. Bleeding blue. Some great tag team action in stores. The Viking Raiders take on what reports say could be the cornerstone of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. Austin Theory is a talented guy, and if he really wants to contribute to Team SmackDown, and not just Team Theory, he would be great to have in War Games. Well, Theory isn't just a talented athlete, he's smart. He knows that if SmackDown is doing well, he's doing well. Everything working against Ivar now. Now, yeah, Ivar needs to get moving as soon as possible. Drop kick to the back. Ridiculous standing shooting star. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Enrique. Put it in the corner now. She's going under the ring now. She's got a chair, and her opponent is in her sights. And finds 
a counter. You are not supposed to reverse. There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. Flying shoulder block. My goodness. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. That kick will stop me in your tracks. Oh, straight forearm. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Evading offense. I've almost got him stunned. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. What? No good reason to stay in this right now. And he denies Ivar. DDT. And Theory's maintaining the advantage now. Theory is doing the job of breaking the opposition down. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Why are they booing us? No, my character's kicking his fucking ass. Look out. Oh, teamwork. That was ridiculous. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Should have been focusing on me. Hey, Stan. Boom. Austin Theory hoisting him up. Right buster of the knee. And Ivar looks clueless as to where he is right now. And Theory! Oh, the ATM! Can Theory put it away here? Ooh. That should be enough! And this has got to be it! I, I, Eric never even came in the match once. I'll take it. That'll do it! It's finally over with the win! Huh? Reason number 99 of why this game is pissing me off. It didn't specify it had to be me that won. Not once. It's a defeat of Viking by pinfall. The Viking they should say as your character. That's so misleading. Austin Theory is a talented guy. And if he really wants to Honestly, bro, what to is the point? And not just team I kicked it. All I have to do is tag in. No, let's get a restart. Fuck this. Let's get good momentum. Some great I would have tagged myself in to get the pin. I would have done that. Take on what say could oh be my god. Of the Smackdown Survivor Series. What is going on? Stop fucking with me. Some great tag team action in stores. The Viking Raiders take on what reports say could be the cornerstone of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. It's like, is there a point in even tagging him in? He's a talented guy. And if he really wants to contribute to Team SmackDown and not just Team Theory, he would be great to have in War Games. Theory isn't just oh my god, now I can't even get anything. Smart. Smart. I had this done already, is doing honestly. Well. He's doing well. He got whipped into that corner. Forearm. A well-timed dodge. Oh, I had that well scouted. And what need is there to go look him under the apron like this? Taking out the knee. That versatile offense of the Viking Raiders looks stifled there. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. He gets tagged in. Standing shooting star. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Nice arm drag. Oh. 
Damn. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Oh my god, a DDT! Spiked him. And that has to bring Eric down a peg. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. Oh, she's removing the top. He can do it here. Surprising. No, this is Eric right now. Oh, sorry. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. This is Eric I'm, whose ass I'm kicking. Oh, solid form. Drop kick to the face. Jumping. Suplex. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, and that was a well-executed attack. Eric's able to dodge that. Reversal. Can he take it back? Eric. Oh, it's over. Victory nearly in hand for Eric. Turn around. The pin. The referee is missing the pin. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. He may be in a bad way here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Seated drop kick. Getting him into the corner. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. This Move is over, Byron. Let a professional call this one because this is going to be nasty. He can't break in. He's debuffed. He's got to stand there. There you go. If it if it glitches me again. What a victory. There. Here are your winners. Austin Theory and Daddy Dan Q. Amazing teamwork from Austin Theory and the champ. For tonight at least, there's no way a guy with an ego as enormous as the universal We look weird. We look weird. Our faces look all scrunched up. Anyway, we would have had that result a long time ago, but what do you do, right? Is that enough for an upgrade? It is. So we can get... Is there anything going to bring us up to... What's funny is bringing resilience to the maximum is actually going to give us a 94 overall. I didn't realize my aerial running is still at an 8. That's interesting. Let's bring myself up to a 94. Get my resilience maxed. Why not? Okay, socials. I showed all the doubters, including Dan, that I'm capable of being a key supporter, supporting team member of Team SmackDown at War Games. My number's called. I'll be waiting. You have my vote, Theory. Alright, we have another one. Uh, hey, Bobby, just wanted to gauge your interest in possibly joining Team SmackDown War Games. I'm interested. After all, I've got plenty of experience fighting in cages from my time in MMA, but I've never competed in a War Games match. Maybe this is your chance. Maybe, but being the high-level athlete I am, I don't just jump into anything, especially a big fight in a cage without proper preparation. Do you want to train? Exactly. I might be on board to join your side, but only if we team up first in a cage match to get a feel for what the real thing would be like. I can set up a training session to PC. Yes, I'll be there. Training day. They're really just giving you, like, as much stats as possible. Um, uh, 23 was decent, but honestly, right now, what I would recommend is going for 
23 if you don't want if it's if you think this is too pricey which it is for what it is i agree in that front um i would go with 23 it's 23 was okay it's very honestly it's very similar to this there's a few modes in this game that i like but at the same time it's i'd say you're better off spending the money or saving the money rather what's the objective do i just uh it's try to lead your team to victory and get them on the board so it doesn't matter? What's going on? These guys are fucking me up. Which is interesting. Julius Creed and Brutus Creed. Both kicking ass, taking names. Seriously, well, I mean, all was going well. You guys are reversing a fuck ton. It's crazy. Dude, do a move. Seems like there's not enough room in here. Okay, seriously. Lashley has to get up. He's not handling his man right now. Sounds wrong. I knew he was gonna reverse that because it was on, he was about to get stunned. It was got like a boost. To his back too. What? Oh, he got out of it, really? Shit. Really messed me up. Better kick out Lashley. That really messed me up, but I had to do it. That might do it. I got him. Focus on your man. Got it. <laughs> Damn, he like just fast traveled over to me. Snads, what's up, man? Thanks for being a member for the last 11 months. Almost at your platinum. One more month to go. Let's get there. Let's get there. Wu Tang. All right, training day is done. So Lashers is on our agenda now. Fighting as part of a team in a cage was more fun than I thought it'd be. It's your call, but I'm ready to make SmackDown Almighty. Team SmackDown Almighty. I'm going to take you up on the offer. Uh, we have a new one here. Time for Trivia Tuesday. Which superstar? Have any in WWE except any guesses? Isn't that Stone Cold? I can't remember. No, SmackDown. Isn't that Rocky? John Cena. Randy Orton. Now that I have your attention, Randy, how about crossing off war games on your bucket list? Speaking of WWE bucket list, there's one thing I haven't crossed off. Winning the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. So how about you put your title on the line and then we'll talk war games. You have a deal. I love how that's what you need to do. Relax, I got this. 
I hear voices in my head, they count to me, they understand. I should I mean I'm gonna hit him with his own own move. What a huge risk the WWE Universal Champ is taking. Putting up his title just for the chance to put Randy Orton on the SmackDown War. I think we included Orton last time, so we're gonna have to pick someone else, but cares about SmackDown to take this big of a risk. Or maybe it's just overconfidence. Maybe he doesn't realize what a huge threat Orton is. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Ah. Oh. Steered clear of that. I gotta be easily reverse that. You know why? Because the Billy Goats curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Agonizing hole. Gotta find a way out, and they do. Oh, what an insecurity. One time. Orton has the momentum against him here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match. Oh my god, it just misses constantly. Fucking joke. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. That's mounted with punches. And not oh a nasty stuff. Get up. See, sometimes the early recovery is all you can oh my god. And he was I got lucky. And another counter. Oh, I gotta reverse that, but I hit the wrong button. Delivered. Hurricane. He'll head to the ring. Oh my god, and DDT spiked him. Off the top. On a diving arm drag. Unbelievable athleticism. Ooh. Boom, what a kick. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Can Orton withstand this attack? Looks like Orton's struggling here. The challenger is not in a great place. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. How do you around. miss, bro? Yeah. Oof. Orton with great ring awareness. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. Oh. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Oh, man. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Boom. Oh, I almost made it. Uh, the reversal by Orton. Exhaustion said he Oh, come on. One of them is letting up. Oof. Got it. And to get it, finds its mark. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! I got two finishers if I need them. Says he finds his footing. He's got resiliency, so he'll probably use it to get out of this, and I'll just hit him with the other one. He kicked out at two. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to re... If this lands, it's over. Lord, that's it. That'll be it. I think the champ's got it. And the champ retains. Here is your winner. And still... The... We get it. It's just, it's just, it, it was just a like a recruiting thing. That's all it was, recruiting campaign. Okay. So I'm gonna go upgrade now. I have 40, so I can get that's enough to get one more. See, my aerial range is now 101, but my running offense has increased. Does anything bring me to a 95? It's almost like making this maxed out is kind of redundant, isn't it? Fuck it. Uh, 
All right, Austin. Who's the future Hall of Famer who gave it their best shot at the Undisputed Universal title but came up short and now is champ favor? Is it Becky? Answer's me, Truth. Did you not watch SmackDown? Oh, my bad. I was busy and my VCR's in the shop, so I missed it. Becky was a good guest. My cash in that favor. Hey, Austin. No, it's a long shot, but I gotta ask. War Games, you in for Team SmackDown? Thanks for reaching out. I'm a fan, but to answer your question, oh, hell no. You sure you don't want to kick back with a few cool ones and think about it some more? Let me stop right there. I've been watching you recruit people for your team, and I know where this is headed next. You're going to say I was only in War Games once my team lost. Do you want? Do I not want redemption? It's almost exactly what I was going to say next. Go back and watch that match. We got the mud stomped out of us, and that was that. I have no desire for another chance at War Games glory. Sorry. True story. I was there. That's right. You were there, Bischoff, as a C-team announcer. Yep. A few years before I rose to power and then fired you. Good times. Anyway, then even if I did come back for this, why would I join Team SmackDown? I was always a raw guy. Is there anything I can do to convince you to come to whoop some ass? Okay, fine. Go stun Eric Bischoff, then we'll talk. <laughs> Stunning challenge. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, I hope Stone Cold Steve Austin feels flattered tonight. I love how I'm dressed if like the champ can stun Eric Stone Cold. Bischoff, Stone Cold Steve Austin will have no choice but to eat his words and join Team SmackDown for War Games. Not a single word you just said makes any sense in the year 2024, but I am here for it. Hurricanrana. One and Swanton finds the mark. And I don't think Eric enjoyed taking that attack head on. He planned for this and could still rally. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Oh my goodness! Hooked up. DDT! Standing shooting star press! Incredible! Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Driving a knee into the arm. Ooh! Oh, unique offense! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. An unrelenting assault being brought to He was stunned, so I had to damage him. Offense, Bischoff attempts is being neutralized. Ooh. Oh. He's looking poised to finish Eric off. Of course, he reversed it. This is a whole bunch of waste of time. String of offense in check. Prime opportunity now for Bischoff to get some separation and gather himself. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Boom! Did I miss? I think I got him. It just kind of glitched. He's hitting on all cylinders right now. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Ooh. And Bischoff dodges that one. Shit, back off. Was it? Maybe not. Early. Connects on the kick. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Arm ringer applied. I was trying to block that heavy combo, but. Uh -oh. Got him that time. Oh, damn, that makes me look fool. Foolish. Stopped him in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Stunner. Stunner. It's over. Bischoff's in serious danger. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Turns that back on Bischoff. Landing the uppercut. Off the top. What's he gonna do? From the heavens, big time. I have big enough damage from that. For the win. That Two. should work. That will end it. Here is your winner, Daddy Dan Q. Eric Bischoff threw everything he could at the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. There you go. Now, Stun Bischoff. Like a boss.
Come on, holy shit, this loading screen is long. Okay. Any more DMs? Well, I'll be damned. At first, that was a nice little tribute to old SCSA, but then you actually stunned the real deal, SOB. I gotta be careful what I say on here next time. Man of my word, Texas Rallying Race Hell with you at Walgreens. Oh, hell yeah. Pleasure well, doing business. Anytime you need me to dust off the old leather jacket and the hair dyes, let me know. I forgot about this fucking guy. Alright, let's just do it right now. Hey, Bunny, hope it's alright. I'm sliding into your DMs like this. Big fan of everything you do. Oh, good. Big fan of yours, too. Yours run. Your honest campion has been heat. Thanks. I know you're busy, so I'll make this quick. Any chance you come back to WWE to be a part of Team SmackDown for War Games Match Survive Series? Team SmackDown? Like that show, The Miz Runs? Nah, I'm good. Maybe I could change your mind. I get it. I can't stand Miz either, but maybe there's something I could do that can help change your mind. Okay? Watch SmackDown. I'm going to send a little message to Miz from his old friend, Bad Bunny. Ooh. Miz to reattack her. This is where we attack him as the bunny in backstage brawl. <laughs> it's so good. I've already put him through the, the lamp, so I don't know. I might try other things. Miz looks like he has a lot in his mind headed into Survivor Series. Look out! From behind! Is that a giant bunny? What the hell? We've seen some strange things in WWE over the years, but a bunny beating up a G. I I mean, we just had Easter, there. so this is very what fitting. What did Miz do to deserve this? He turns it around. Oh. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh, he's got a hole in his suit already. Oh, he got me with it. Flying Majorana, beautiful. Where was I? Uh, coming down hard with that shovel. Block. That was a stiff shot with the shovel. He foiled that attempt. <laughs> I love the throw mechanic. I mean, you can. You just duck. <laughs> oh, sent clean through the window. Broken glass flying everywhere. Step up, Enzigari. Measured knee drop. Oh, that'll rattle you. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Miz telegraphing that one. Man, I'm kicking Miz's ass right now. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! Oh, he's already done. Wow, that was quick. Looks like they've settled that was a pretty easy 20. There might be more than one, though. I don't think so. I think literally these ones are just single match challenges. That's why they're so short. <laughs> yeah, I'm about dropping Easter eggs all over the place. <laughs> I'm leaving Easter eggs all over Mrs. Mrs. Head. <laughs> Instead of goose eggs, they Easter eggs. Do you think Mrs. is something bad? Uh, I Dios mio, Miz. Getting brutally attacked by a bunny is not funny, San Benito. Was that you? No, I'm on tour. I demand a full investigation to get to the bottom of this. On it. Who could have been better hop to it, Troy? So I guess you enjoyed Miz getting embarrassed by that mystery bunny. I like your style. If you need me, I, I, you'd, uh, I'll make sure my schedule is clear for Survivor Series. Let me know. Gracias, mi amigo. All right. Those are all done. So now we've got all these. Let's take a look at the stories. There's only three more, and I think they're all out here. Guess we'll go to my Addies. Uh, we got 55 to spend. I wonder if that actually makes sense. My aerial running is pretty capped. I think the most we can get out of it is an 83, and everything else is in 102. So it's kind of OP. So it's almost like, should we just up these two first? 
And then maybe spend the rest. It might not make sense to max this out. I might just do these two. And then spend the rest in submission. You know what I mean? There's still time, so we'll see. We still have a whole other chapter as well, though. So you gotta look at it from that perspective. Alright. Uh, this is gonna be new. I don't remember doing a, doing a fight with Rhea before, but... Or, like, doing a story with Rhea, I mean. We'll see. Hey, Rhea. You, uh, interested in joining Team SmackDown for war games? That'd be hilarious. You wish. I actually want to talk to you on behalf of Dominic. Oh, uh, it's because of Dom. We had that mission with him. What's Dom so afraid of saying to my face? Not afraid. He just doesn't think you deserve his time after he helped you beat Kane with the taser and you never really thanked him after. That's not quite how I remember it. Whatever. I'm not here to argue about the past. I have a proposal. Dominic would be willing to put any ill will aside and join your team for war games if you did something for him in return. What's mommy's boy have in mind? Take out Dom's old man once and for all in an ambulance match. All right. This is Raise a legend. That's a bit brutal. Even by your standards. If you want Dom's services, that's the offer. Take it or leave it. I mean, we'll have to take it. <sighs> Fine. I don't feel great about this, but I need to have any and all options on the table when it comes to selecting my team. I'll do it. You've made the right decision. We'll be watching. Indecent proposal. Yeah, this is because this is unique to um, uh, the. So I guess it does change it up. Remember how I said it? I wasn't sure if there's going to be anything new. Uh, there will be because we made a different decision. We chose because uh, my first run we sided with Lita. And this uh, this one we sided with Dom. So now we have this extra match. with. It's not much. Don't get me wrong. But it's still different. It does change the course of things. Whenever an ambulance shows up at ringside, so now it's Ray Ray and myself against the ambulance. The of their career. In this match, the ambulance shows up before anything happens. What does the WWE Universal Champ have against Rey Mysterio to have this type of match against him? The longer that championship stays around someone's waist, the more brutal they become. Tossed into the corner. Oh, kick connects. With the reversal. Close. Oh, I could have easily reversed that, but I was hitting the wrong button. Same with that one. Oh, man, I was giving the option to reverse again, man. I'm really shit in the bed right now. Kidneys. Golly. Now that'll do some serious damage. What's happening? Unpacks well, that was lucky. That was fortunate. It looks like Ray's not the only one with a will to win. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Springboard! Shooting Ooh, crunch. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. This is not gonna be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. He I mean, he set it up. I have to. I wasn't even planning on doing this, but I'm gonna do it now. Incoming. No! Oh! It counts. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. And what's he looking for here? Mysterio is in some serious How did that happen? I hate when it like glitches and you're like Hold on. Let's just deal with this. Oh, he's gotta take me too far. Oh, I thought he was, he, he was smart in throwing me, because that would have interrupt that interrupted it. Oh, he got me with a hurricane. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Yeah, no surprise that Ray went full speed on that move. A uh, springboard. Oh my goodness. Damn, that was sick. Yeah. 
Come on, you're not that hurt. He's taking this to the floor now. Look at this. Opening the back doors. Taking a big step towards success in this ambulance match. Oh my god, dude. I went for my signature and it didn't work. It got interrupted. I don't want to waste it. I guess I have to. So I'm not getting up anytime soon. Colliding with a barricade. Ribs first across the barricade. Out. That well scouted. And he had Ray's number there. Holy Remember you smell the spear people the through the barricade? The chest. I missed that. Uh-oh. Oh, impact to the stomach. He's looking shaky at best now. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. F5! Thunderous! <laughs> oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, man. Janky fucking move. Adios. That might just be all she wrote. If he can open. Emergency personnel is ready. Stop them in and close that ambulance door. Oh, of course he gets out of it. Caught with that sharp elbow. Mysterio is going to look to press on the advantage. The U turn Ray needed in this match could have been that right there. Doors are open. Gotta wake up now before it's too late. Oh, I missed it. Man, I'm, I'm, he actually put me in here. Trying to at least slam one door shut. And they actually escaped from the ambulance. This battle rolls on. And launched into the back of the ambulance. That's not where this superstar wants to be. Desperately trying to close the first of two doors. Halfway home now. Pushing with everything they've got. Come on, shut the fit. See, it's not physically possible yet. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Because there's an actual trophy that you're supposed to beat, like on Legend. Close the ambulance first try. Like on Legend difficulty. I don't really, I don't know how it's physically possible. Because you could damage a guy perfectly and it doesn't seem to matter. I got out of it. Scouted. Danger here now. You don't want to be near the ambulance looking like this. Sharp reversal stopping Mysterio. What? He's burying elbows in the midsection. Head first into the ambulance appears to be completely defenseless right now. Bang! Door right off the face! Just as heartening to see Mysterio struggle here. Mysterio's fairy tales looking dark, gentlemen. Tossed into the back of the meat wagon. Trying to fit this has to make sure to get the other door locked. Just close the second door and victory is yours. Forcing their way out of the ambulance. He's resiliency. Thrown back into the ring. 
Interesting choice to close the ambulance doors. Must be a defensive strategy. He's going for it all. I don't know what... Flying! Whoa! What a landing! And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. And a well-executed move we just saw there. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. And what is that? Springboard! Shooting star press! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off! That's it. That's got to do it. The engine's running, and the ambulance is ready to go. <laughs> Getting those doors open. Thoughts of winning are popping into this combatant's head. This time should be fine. <laughs> Tossed into the ambulance. Doing their best just to... One door is shot. We could be looking at the end here. Pushing with every fiber of their being to slam the door. And boom, the door shut and there's the win. What a grueling battle. Here is your winner, Daddy Dan Q. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title... I think that's our first ambulance match every time. in the male career. There was one that was included in the female one. But it's just kind of grindy. That's what I mean. How are you supposed to do that on Legend? Like, without him kicking out of it. You basically have to damage every single limb and have a bit of good luck. You know? That's the only thing I'm not sure about. Okay. Mysterio is undergoing treatment at local medical facility after a brutal ambulance match loss. More updates to follow. Thoughts and prayers to Ray. By the way, thanks, Dan. Small step in repairing a relationship. If you do, if you want to team up again, you know where to find me. But I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna like. I'm not even gonna go with him. So it's just like. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, this is something I'm gonna have to check. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do one more and see what happens if I just do. See what happens. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just let it go. There's still some side missions to go, so. Kevin Owens. Haven't even looked on this side of the ring. I'm going to so get speak. right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay. I'll cut to the chase, too. I'm 3 0 against you. So, what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Seth has never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. I can't remember if you have a choice. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to. But if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Uh, I think I told him Omos before. So I'll do Drew Goo. Let's see what you can do against Drew Gulak. Then we'll talk. Easy. Almost through it, guys. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra violent twinkle. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for a possible War Games partner. Kevin is out to prove himself as one of SmackDown's best weapons against Raw. Well, KO didn't do himself any favors when he picked this opponent. He's got a tough hill to climb to prove himself here tonight. Oh, that can dislocate yeah, exactly. something. He had it 
scouted. Into the corner. This can't be good. Gotta hurt. Pulverized in the arm is a great way to create an advantage. I hate how fat, like that's such a slow one. Punishing the leg. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Forearm oh. smash! Hooked up! Ow! can do some lasting damage to the spine and no chiropractor has a cure for what stomping we mud holes on him delivering nasty stops you want to control the tempo you want to dictate the pace what was that there was like a hesitation where i wasn't able to move caving in the abdomen oh counters right into the bread basket the hell same deal I'm using a move and it's not popping Owens intercepts it oh he's got him up high the follow away slam he's in a little bit of trouble now yeah as we're getting deeper in that up high you damn that's me. sick they got all of that just taking flight and soaring through the sky Hoist it up, double. I got out of it. Weaves out into a clothesline. <laughs> Saw that one coming. <laughs> Gulak saves himself. He'll head to the ring. Ready for that. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. That's a new oh, move, brother. Taking it right to him. No way to. Oh, he got out of it. Now I guess he can talk. Sharpened bombs. Trying to escape, and they do. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. $100,000. This game is 100 grand. Too easily. Gulak looking for the Gulak. The Gulak locked in. Gulak's got the Gulak locked in. Uh, this one's over. Tap out coming. I love how he just magically turned all of this around. I don't want to waste it. There you go. I got out of it. Defend off what must have been a grueling submission. Oh my god, he reverses everything, bro. He's really fucking annoyed. And I keep missing it. The gory special, yes. Oh, the gory special submission locked in. Is Kevin Owens gonna tap? Got nowhere to go. I just use rage. I don't know. I'm so close to my signature, though. It's from mashing. Of course he does. Bro. <laughs> Rope break. This is ridiculous. He's been able to spam moves. I know it's ironic because I spam. Trying to find a way out. AI is being cheeky. And he's out and delivers a knee. Oh, it's over the top of power bomb. Enough of this shit. Fight like that, and Owens could be doing all the talking he wants. Action speaking. Man, he was just spamming those uh, submissions like crazy. Kevin. Oh. Kevin O. All right, anyways. Oops. Okay, so I think we got one more, correct?
So this does bring me up to a 95 overall. So that'll bring me to an 83, like my aerial 83 in the running offense. My movement speed is 102. I wonder if that actually does have an effect. Or if I maybe should just do this. Let's put it in submission. Might make the most sense. I was impressed. Took direction, got the job done. I'll let you know if you if you made the cut. Seriously, what the hell? That wasn't enough to get a spot. Indeed. Nothing's guaranteed. All right, Xavier, this is new too because we had a beef with him in the last one. So this is gonna be a different storyline. Oh hey there! You here to steal my baked beans? Uh, come again? The baked beans are indeed delicious today. But I'm alluding to the time you stole my show. I didn't forget about that. I didn't steal your show. I just came out with a very similar show and then temporarily got yours canceled. Point is, the baked beans analogy doesn't really hold up. I'm not sure any of that's helping. Look, working with Miz was not the best decision. But I actually wanted to talk to you about how we could possibly put our differences aside against Team Raw. Interesting. You know, much like a stellar baked beans recipe, trust takes time to perfect. And speaking of culinary exploits, Kofi and I have had quite the beef with Pretty Deadly as of late. Isn't Kofi out hurt for a bit? Yes, because of those pesky pretty boys. But that's where you come in. If you can play the part of Kofi for one night, New Day attire and all, then maybe it'll show that we have the right ingredients for future tag team success. So a one night partnership in exchange for you throwing your hat in the ring for war games. I can do that. Excellent. Now let's go get you out of that bean stained shirt and dressed appropriately. Welcome to the New Day. Well, sort of. Recipe for success. This should be interesting. After a battle over the respective video game shows, it's really nice to see Xavier. I love the tights. I wonder if we're gonna unlock this. Nothing a WWE superstar does is motivated by pure kindness. There's an ulterior motive here, and it may involve our champion trying to recruit. The hell is this dude wearing? Games match in Survivor Series. If that's the case, Xavier Woods would make a great addition to Team SmackDown. If these two can coexist here tonight. Ridiculous standing shooting star. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Able to sidestep it. What happened there? Puts an end to that. It's my current objective. Outfit is itchy. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Kick lands. Oh, kick right to the spine. Things now not going well for Elton. Yeah, some flaws in Elton's game plan are being exposed. Prince saw that was coming. Prince showing just how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. It's time for Prince to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Countered it just in time. What is the sling blade? Super kick. Spear. Is this what it takes to beat Elton? Boom. Here he goes. God, that's funny. You think that'll be enough? And there's the win! Huge win here tonight! Here are your winners. Xavier Woods and <laughs> Daddy Dan. <laughs> they got the win, but I can't believe Woods would even speak to this guy. He knows that the Universal Champion's a snake after he stole up on down down. <laughs> okay, but you loved down up, down up, Corey. You called it Miz. <laughs> Artistic <laughs> triumph. That's so good. I was not expecting that. Ugh. It was pretty quick. I was yeah, I was really selling it, wasn't I? 
I think that's the last one, too. Alright, so now I just gotta make a choice. Let's go into my attributes. Now, I have enough to do just one. Interestingly, this brings me does not bring me to a 96. Do you know why? Because I've already got 100 in it. So really, all I'm doing... I think those extra numbers are actually just not doing anything. So the only thing I'm bringing up is my running offense. So it actually makes more sense to put it into submission. But I still don't know if 97 is the highest we can go. For women's for the women's side, it was. Not bad. I mean, I wouldn't say you could ever become a full-time New Day member or even a part-time fill the fill in trombonist. Uh, but slide my arm, should my slide arm be injured? But not bad. If you want me on your team for more games, I'll be there. All right, guys. Now it's time to pick our teammates. So Seth Rollins is already in here. Seth is in here. Why? Who was it before? It wasn't Seth. It was someone else. Because I had chosen a different storyline. I right, got Dirty Dom. Man, Theory is only a 72. I gotta say, their stats are pretty low. Last time I picked Randy and Stone Cold. These guys are all kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie. The next best one... Actually, Randy Orton is the number one overall, which is interesting. Then it's um, Lashley, then LA Knight. So, I'm I'm obviously I'm not gonna take the two team like the teammates I picked last round. Obviously, I'm going alternate choices. I might go with Bobby Lashley. Maybe Kevin Owens. Honestly, seems like a decent round. It's all relevant. Sounds good to me. All right, Troy, simpy boy. You here to spy on me, Troy? No, I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants. And Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. I mean, I'm good. I guess my last chance to change. Wait, hold on. Never mind. <sighs> I knew it. Just hurry up. I just want to confirm before I go. I just wasn't sure. I think that was it, but I just want to be triply sure. That I didn't have anything left. Okay, good. Just checking. You here to spy on? No, Actually, excellent. I, I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. All right. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their War Games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his. It's funny because KO, it makes sense. Lastly, not so much, but situation. it was Randy Orton and Stone Cold who were stomping the mud hole in the last, last time I played it. It didn't make sense at all, but it's sending a message. That'd be so funny. It's like Rhea and China on my team. <laughs> Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was so taken. We're kind out. of out of, like, uh, character for us. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. 
Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. No. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. Do you think? The fanny. Regal has been a mentor to the so-called dark horse. Invading Raw was a slap in the face. And now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend. Accidental or not. Well, for now, it looks like Team SmackDown is going to retreat. This didn't break into an all-out war, but they delivered a strong message here tonight. I agree, Corey. We didn't know who would represent the blue brand Survivor Series, and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage. I can't wait. I mean, he was, I think, but then I think they brought him over. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. AJ always, has always been on SmackDown for as long as I can remember, but, you know, they have these drafts. Anyway, Raw doesn't invade or, and sneak attack like cowards, so I'm sending AJ to SmackDown for a War Games preview match. Who will step up and face him? So you got my little message. We'll get back to you on that challenge. <laughs> can you this laugh like that? That was so dumb. <laughs> <clears throat> we did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And well, where is oh, sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. Um, tensions escalating, and who knows how Raw would retaliate. Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. Of course he did. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has... So much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes, and Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Um, I did, I chose myself last time, so let's change that up. Let's say Seth Rollins. Good. I'll let the boss know. But I'll get to control him. That's the difference. Oh, hey, Pat. Sorry, I missed that. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it yet. It's got uh, it's got issues. For the price, it ain't it. I mean, I, I, maybe eventually, if you really like, if you're a big wrestling fan, I'd say eventually, but just wait till some of those things get worked out. But I will tell you, a lot of them aren't fixed yet. It feels like the gameplay feels like better, but also worse. Like there's more dead zones, you know what I mean? Like you'll go for an attack and it won't trigger. Like he'll just be swinging and he'll miss him multiple times. Right there. I should have grabbed his head, but he missed. He shouldn't have. It's programmed to grab him. Perhaps a little more determination needed from Styles. Rollins unleashes athleticism there. Big forearm. Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Here we go. Time to work out some aggression. And impactful this playoff offense we just witnessed there. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. And the counter from Rollins. He's turning the tables. WWE Universe. These guys are looking like floppy ass fishes. Oops, fuck that up. Of course he reverses it because see how fast he like oh god it's locked in nice i got my foot is literally on the ropes no he's gonna hit me with the south clash i gotta reverse this and i don't oh wait a minute yep there it is damn i got a rope break immediately though even though it wouldn't be that's a glitch What? 
I gotta hit him with my comeback. Fans off the attack with an elbow. Oh, and Rollins! Here comes Seth! Sling leg! Rollins in complete control. Up and, uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! Deep pedigree there. Okay, let me just double check what his finisher is. The stomp, obviously. Oh, it's just the stomps. That's what I wasn't sure. Springboard stomp is a super. There's a part of me that wants to get that. The springboard stomp. Or the super stomp, one of the two. And I bet Seth's been plotting that move all match long. Visionary offense from the drip guy. I don't like the look in his eye here. Oh, my God. Through the air. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Back into the ring. Going up. Uh-oh. Throwing down punches and counters out. Oh, I got out of that money. Styles taking it by surprise. Maybe. Oh. Two, I cannot believe it. Everyone thought that was three. And the DDT. So Fox. Oh, he's got him by the leg. Foot DDT. Oh, costly error there. Oh, kick right to the back. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. No good, man. Thanks for asking. I remember when I actually threw Seth Rollins out the ring with that very move. You guys remember that? Like, it was like 16, WWE 2K16 or something like that. Uh oh. Look at the suplex. No, 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 no. Breaker. I'm trying to save up for my super. Styles knows what Super stomp. Super stomp or springboard stomp? One of the two. I don't know. I have to make a decision. Hooked up and DDT. I will say it's taking a lot longer to fill up that third finisher. Oh, I, I'm getting luck with these rope breaks. Will he be able to last much longer? Man, I'm really messing up these reversals. These would get me massive amounts of money, but I'm messing them up bad. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. There you go. Great wherewithal on the counter. Ooh. Avoiding <laughs> He's running in. <laughs> No, oh, I might be done. I was trying to do a finisher. Oh, I got out. Didn't need resiliency. Don't use it. It's tempting to use it, but... Contending with some more hard offense. Yeah, the phenomenal one could be looking for that home run very soon. Dude, I don't want to use instant recover. I want to, but I can't. I just got to get a reversal, but I'm really sucking. It's not really giving me the option, to be honest. None of these are giving me the option. I just want to use my... See, I got to use my signature to get that extra finisher. That's my situation. But it's not giving me any reversal opportunities. There you go. That time I got it. That was important. Oh, AJ caught by the count. Okay, don't reverse this, please. I've been spending all my time trying to get this down. Oh, Seth Rollins. The visionary looking all right, let's just check it. All right, so corner standing strike. I think springboard stomp might be sicker, so we'll do it. Get up, 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 get up. Get up, get up. <laughs> it's going down, fam. And he reversed it. Of course he did. Left by the turnbuckles. Man, I can't catch a fucking break. Oh, 
At least I still have resiliency if I need it. What a counter by Rollins. Springboard knee. How do I do it? I'm not exactly how sure to do it. Hold on. Ah, I see. I got it. That's got to be it. Ah, I don't know if it was really worth it. All that effort, was it worth it? How many times had it been said that Seth Rollins is the new AJ Styles? Does this performance answer that question? So many comparisons between AJ Styles and Seth Rollins over the years. The truth is... I mean, I knew it was going to do huge damage, though, if I could pull it off. Oh, well, well, look who it is. Team SmackDown struck first the War Games preview match, but who will get the real victory at, at Survivor Series? It's going to be more of the same. Team SmackDown is going to dominate Regal's group of paper champions. We'll see about that. You know there's no such thing as a brand war, right? We all get our checks from the same place. What? Next thing you're going to tell me is we weren't actually going to get married. Seriously, though. I know, I know. You're not wrong. Working with Miz again is the worst. Especially since it all started because Regal hurt his feelings on a talk show. Doesn't take much. <laughs> right? But now it's gotten personal with Cody nailing me with that cheap shot and then everything with Regal. So you can criticize how we got here all you want. But when we step inside those cages, I'm going to make sure my team does whatever it takes to survive. Understood. Well, even though technically we're on opposite sides, mind if I bum a ride to the building? Sure. Anything for my fiance. That's more like it. All right, okay, War Games is upon us, and I know we have a, a so-called team captain, but everyone knows I'm the architect, so follow my lead and we'll all be fine. Cool. Does that mean we all wear the over-the-top ridiculous outfits? I'm worried we won't have time to coordinate. We should definitely come out to Seth's music since he's our fearless leader. How do I remove myself from this group chat, or better yet, the match itself? This is going well. Glad we forced to team with team with you, Seth. We were forced to team with you, Seth. Is it gonna be? I don't know. It's it's not gonna show it. The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield. But who will lead their team to victory? Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Captain and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some. Like, why isn't there an animation for that? Gonna sting your back. He was waiting for I don't know. They always make you start first. It's annoying. It's kind of unrealistic. I think they just don't want it so you don't have to wait so you can get wrestling right away. Knew what was coming there. Evades the attack. Is it? Oh, what was that garbage? Where are you going, brother? Great response.
shots to AJ there. Nicely done. Counting down the seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. Kick to the stomach. A lot of reversals happening. Standing shooting star press and No, it isn't, John. It's a certain level of athleticism. It's pretty ignorant to assume it. Everyone celebrates come. Easter. Give their team the upper hand as soon as possible. He's made sure the odds are above and beyond his favor now. He's stalking his opponent for from the heavens. Splash from the top. Going way up high. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Okay, can I take him down? Right, it's cinched in. This could be it. Oh, for the small pack. Uh-uh. No way. He begins to climb the wall of the War Games cage. Okay, out of the way. Here we go. Catches nothing but air. He gets manhandled over into the opposite ring. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Wait a second. Double springboard. Sorry. Right to the kidneys from behind. Here, grab him with me. Seth, grab him. Uh-oh. What's this going to be? Oh. There you go. Oh, man. Wow. Things will get back to it. Taking flight. Whoa. Unbelievable athleticism. Oh, I was, hot. I was jumping for joy. I missed you. I wanted to meet you in the face again. Door swings open and out they... AJ's eyes are glazed over. Hauled himself up on top of the wall. War Games might be about to get even more dangerous. Don't do it! Oh, I missed! He was in his animation. That's some cheeky cheese. Falling to the earth with nothing to break your fall. That's a costly mistake. Send him right smack into no man's land. Oh, he missed. Oh, and then that messed me up. That was taking the attack to the competition. That really fucked me up. Take down. Whatever the cross face, it's cinched in. This could be over. Whoa! I didn't realize he put me in that. I mean, the match hasn't started yet, so. I missed it. I was ready for it, but being let loose to surely become the top. AJ No! No! And then he just styles clashes me, bro. Are you serious? Has AJ delivered the exclamation? Climbing into the ring, pretty much entering a war zone. Able to interrupt. I'm not sure if anybody's gonna do anything to me in the corner. I like to jump from up top, it's fun. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. And he situated himself on top of the cage. Who knows where this is going? Kobe! Oops. Sorry, Seth. That was just to wake him up. Disrupting the flow of air at this point. Out of the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage. He saw it coming, taking advantage. And we just saw some serious offense. Sent flying over to the other ring. Clearly knows the 
damage that has been done with the opposing team's numbers advantage and knows that bringing in a weapon can be the ultimate equalizer. Slight blade! Rollins with the wrist trap. Rip Courtney. Mr. Anderson. Don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, stop right there. There's no point in doing anything yet. I'm just better off getting some finishers because then I'll just go after the guy who's got the the weakest, you know. Sorry guys, had a had a random frame drop. Haven't had one of those in a while. Cage, eager to capitalize on the situation. And there was some force on that move. Oh my god, a DDT! Lights out. Bobby Lashley measuring his opponent. It's a flash. Is it enough to overcome Anderson? Oh my devastating impact to the back. And after all the damage the body has taken. If this match continues, a decision to continue could be career threatening. Uh uh. No. Way. Oh, I missed. That was coming. Able to prevent Styles' attack. Eats a punch to the face. And he's already taken more hits up there. Everybody's in here, except for Rhodes. I gotta wait for Rhodes to get in here and then homeboy's ready for the pin. Oh man, if Bobby Lashley just let me take out um AJ, this wouldn't be an issue. Might be. Damn, I gave him so much time. Come on. Keep fighting. He keeps his team in the match. You have to be in a <laughs> such a shit show.
starting to scale up the World Games wall. He's got something in mind. Neckbreaker. He's all the way up to the top, and this can only. What's going on? None of them great. Oh no! That's gonna be a crash and burn from the top of the cage. Here's the cover for the win. Yes, we won. I saw that Lashley got the pin with that revert. Oh my god, dude. I I thought I did strike him. Wow. The battle is <laughs> oh, on. Red versus blue. You're kidding me, man. Champions fill out both man, this sides game. of the battlefield. Dude, I, I don't get it because I swear I hit him, but I must have done a running strike. So Even now victory. I have to do Call all that shit it, again. But I think the WWE Universal oh. Champion has put so that time I didn't see the objective. The I was possible, so distracted by all the fucking like Smackdown <laughs> takes it tonight. wrestlers in the but ring, man. That's brutal. The chip on the shoulder of Raw Cappen and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes. Oh, it's so it was aggravating, so man. I mean, we so won, but we ago. didn't because Cody it didn't follow the storyline. Revenge tonight. Oh my God! Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Reverse it. And I'm getting my ass kicked, and I can't get out of it. There you go. Flipping the script on him there. And misses on the springboard. Fucking dumb. There we go. Kick to the midsection prevents. Oh god. I don't like that move because then it's it takes so long your your chances of him recovering are pretty good. Big forearm. This is just brute power. Release German. Uh-oh, look out. Double leg drop. Running Swanton finds the mark. The count has started and one team is about to have the odds in their favor. Styles gets out of the way. Gentlemen, the advantage has officially shifted. Oh, big time strength with the German. Searching under the ring now. This can't be good. He just grabbed what could be a game changer, adding an advantage on top of an advantage. And entering into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. Ah, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh, a kendo stick wrapped around the head. Uh oh. Boom. One wicked attack after another. Ooh, got clipped by the thrown kendo stick. There is nothing but mal intent behind each of these attacks. <laughs> Able to avoid any harm there. Come on, Seth. Oh, that didn't go as Seth designed. Here it comes. Top with a neck breaker. Ooh, man. Time is ticking away. Shortly we'll have a fresh competitor to even the odds. He saw that one coming. And well timed maneuver there. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Sorely needed reinforcements about to arrive. Let's see what kind of impact they have. <laughs> He's going nuts. Boom! I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. Luke keeps him away. And Tagiri finds its mark. Oh, he's got it by the leg. Foot DDT. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Go oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Running Swanton finds the mark. Big Bulldog instead. Carefully placed stop to the arm. So much damage inflicted. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. 
sending him all the way over to the next ring. Timer's almost up. This next oh. advantage inside the camp. Here, gentlemen. Standing shooting star press incredible. Oh, incredible athleticism. Enters the ring and is diving head first into the chaos of the Stop match. missing him. Like the game just misses, you know. Looking for the suplex all the got way out of it. Up. Look at this power. Oh no. Escapes in a chunk. Bobby Lashley's just hanging out there doing nothing. Bobby Lashley, help out, brother. What are you doing? Oh, man. He took a hard landing into the other ring. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Release by suplex. Ouch. Take down. Look at the cross face. It's cinched in. This could... We're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, he moved. Considerable damage, though. Are you going to bring anything with you? Starting to scale up the War Games wall. He's got something in. Take off. Remember, John, I think he was talking about the insurance for the PS4, not the actual PS4 itself. Look. Will that stop Anderson? Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Oh, Swanton. What's everyone doing over there? They're all just kind of looking at them. Wait, what is happening in the corner? Uh-oh, double spring ball. Can you believe it? They were kind of bugged out, so I had to like trigger them. Trying to jump on me? Stop after stop after stop. And we've seen what guys can do off of the side of that cage. I sense danger. Oh no! And that hesitation before leaping off the cage could have been costly. A well warranted hesitation. What the fuck, dude? I was trying to do my signature. Ugh. Such a waste. The sleeper is sick. AJ Styles rolls through the cap pressure submission. There's the cap. Well, you can't. Damn, I fucked him up. Take down. 
I need Rose to get in here so I can do the first mission. What's the objective? See, it doesn't tell you the objective. Maneuver. That's why, how was I supposed to know? Oh, come on. Dude, this game's pissed me off. I'm just trying to get up. Hit him, hit him, hit him. There you go. And it's now champion versus champion. Cody holds on. Is this it? And he nailed the crossroad. That was really awkward. It's over. Such a waste of time. Cody Rhodes and Team Raw have just defeated the WWE Universal Champion and SmackDown. It's been several years since the legend of the Dark Horse was born, built on a victory over Cody Rhodes that many said was a fluke due to the interference of Roman Reigns. Did the World Heavyweight Champion just prove everyone right? I have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake. We'll see about that, Michael. Unbelievable. Until then, this is Team Raw and the American Nightmare's Night to stand tall over WWE. I think it's funny. Is that all I had to do? We wouldn't have been here for that long, but... That should be the end of the chapter, though. And it goes into the finale, which is the... Well, there's a few matches still left, but not many. Not many. Not one bit. Ugh. W Universe is shocked at the dominant victory by Rhodes over Dan. Shocked I'm not. Same old rats fighting each other for scraps at my table. Someday soon I might have to come back and take back my seat. Well, way to go, Fearless Leader. Was that lost some kind of record? I should have left the team when I had the chance. That wasn't great, but we all win or lose together. Team effort. Yeah, that was rough. We'll get him next time, I guess. Well, it's scripted, John, right? So, it's literally supposed to happen. It's pathetic. Seriously, please delete this group chat so I never talk to you all again. Okay, what do we got for attributes? 33. So, I have enough to spend one more. Fuck it, we'll just keep putting it into that. Hey, Abdul. Yeah, see, Dark Horse vs. Destiny. For the wreck. So we'll do the two challenge matches first. Listen, I know you're dealing with a lot of pressure right now after war games. It's overwhelming. And it can make you forget why you stepped into this business with a heart full of passion. Trust me, I get it. But picture this, a match after hours at TBD when the arena is deserted and all eyes are off you. No obligations to live up to anyone's expectations, no titles to defend, just you and a ring, pins only, back to the core of wrestling. Just pins. Pretty straightforward. You got the jump on me. Hey, Devesh, how you doing? Oh, that one's so hard to reverse. The window is so tiny. See, like, even then, like, it doesn't... The win window didn't even appear. So it's kind of guess. I'm getting my ass kicked now. Wait, Devesh, you've been in a stream before. We've talked to you before, haven't we? This isn't your first stream, isn't it? 
You're in you're in like a few streams, I thought. Maybe I'm tripping. maybe I'm tripping, I don't know. <clears throat> I love how ordinary I was like now he's kicking my ass. Of course. No, you're good. I, I just thought I recognized your name before. I was just like, I know I've seen you before. I tend to remember names pretty well, believe it or not. Like when I see them. In my memory though, it's not it's yeah, non existent. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Hey Predator, how's it going? And I he reverse this guy's reversing absolutely everything. It's kind of annoying. It's like they make him reverse stuff for the sake of it. I don't really want to waste it because I want to hit him with my signature so we can move on. Because if you can just keep wasting it just to get up one time, you know. See, and then I hit him, but he immediately gets to cancel it. Like it's so stupid. Matt? Sorry, Seb. Uh, Matt's not my name, big player. <laughs> One, two, that's that's all we needed. That was easy. Concealing the spotlight, obviously. Oh, whoops. Oh, damn it. I've heard, I heard that the uh, Suicide Squad season one was really shitty. Like, it was so fucking, like, broken. Oh, maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I have to admit, I'm a little sorry nobody was watching. Hopefully that helped clear your head and re reignited something. If you needed an employee for you, Dark Horse. I think we literally only have one more to do. So. This championship run is epic. You must be so stressed. It's my last chance to get any sort of stats. You. you know what helps me relax? I like to go on vacation in my mind. Here's what I'm thinking. Close your eyes, take yourself somewhere oh, the doink exotic, match. and imagine yourself doing the most exciting thing you can think of, which for me is wrestling, but against someone fun, like what about doink the clown? Want to see where your mind can take you? Oh, I thought they'd add like some sort of story content. I don't know, I heard, I heard other things too. I heard it was like in a bad state, like a bad release state. Man, I'm hitting the reversal buttons I need, like X like for heavy combos, and then he's just letting, He's clowning around. Uh, 
Ah, uh, you're good, Seb. Don't worry about it, buddy. Happy to entertain you regardless. Whether you call me Matt, Dan, Jimmy. <laughs> Man, Doink is getting his dink crushed. Ah, uh, risky business. Stomp the legs. I knew he was going to do that. There you go. Now I've got him set up. Oh, man. It's game over, bro. Just making sure. Yeah. Fred, I literally have zero urge to go back to Suicide Squad. I'm sorry. I just don't have any. It just wasn't that fun to me. Overall, it was a pretty mid game, and I just it just didn't give me any reason to want to keep playing it. I, I mean, it was, it was mainly the gameplay. The gameplay to me just didn't feel that fun. So, no, I have no reason to go back. That was easy. Just had to cheese him. Call it a dizzle. That, I believe, is the last chance for me to go ahead and make um, any sort of uh, smiles and suplexes. Whoa, hopesie, sorry. Suplexes. Okay. So, yeah, 10 attributes. This is going to be my last upgrade because the only thing left now, if I understand correctly, is... Um, hold on, let me go DMs. Looks like you're all, the only one laughing after that one. I assume so, anyway. It'd be weird if you lost a match in your own mind. Maybe I'm just in your head. Have fun. Weird. Um, yeah, so I, I have 30. So I only have enough for one of these. So either one of them brings me up to a 97. Which is interesting because... So yeah, 97 is the highest you can get. Last In my last career, I only had 96. You know why, though? Because overall... Um, I was not able to go, um, what do you call it? Because I missed out, on, I lost that one challenge match in a previous chapter, and I skipped on that first story mode by mistake. So I was supposed to be able to hit 97 overall. Let me just see though, what does this get me? So I think it, this makes the most sense. Just bring my defense up to an 86, and then power submission can max out at 66. Because if I do this, it'll still get me to a 97, but you know my aerial range goes from 96 to 98, which is good. Almost, but at the same time, it's almost like I don't know. Actually, you know, what? fuck it. I changed my mind. Let's just do it. Let's just do the aerial running. I wasn't planning on it, but let's just make our aerial range even further. <laughs> Why the hell not? If we go story progress, yeah. I, oh no, there's still a further record. There must be a DM somewhere. Oh no, no, no. Sorry, I did that last time. I made that mistake last time. There's actually two story modes: Dark Horse vs. Destiny's one, and for the record, is the other story mode. That's what it is. Sorry, I forgot. I did that last time. Sorry. Okay. So there'll be one other chance to try and bring it up higher. I don't think it'll work. I don't think I'll ever have enough, but you never know. What are you doing here? Slow down there, Tiger. Don't get hot. This isn't an invasion. Then what are you doing at my show? Do they not have gyms at Raw? I'm here with news. Because I wanted to tell you man to man and not have you read it on social media. To think I could have continued to live in blissful ignorance. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But after I beat you at Survivor Series, Miz and Regal are giving the WWE Universe what it wants. You and me. Title versus title at the Royal Rumble. That's actually good news. Thanks. Honestly, you could have slid into my DMs to let me know. Miz asked me to come to SmackDown. He made an additional proposition. <laughs> let me guess. The WWE Universal Champion and the World Heavyweight Champion in a tag team match for the first time ever. And it's going to be awesome. He tell you already? Guy learned at the feet of Teddy Long. So what do you say? We obviously both like gold. You ready to team up? You know what? Hell with it. I'm in. 
I knew you wouldn't resist the opportunity. Go team. All right. It's time to do this. Story gate. They say it's a story gate, but it kind of isn't. Well, I guess it kind of is. Before their champion versus champion clash at the Royal Rumble, we have both title holders attempting to work together in tag team action. Why does this feel like The Miz is still messing with the WWE Universal Champion after all this time? Don't be so obtuse, Saxton. This is just good box office. Miz just knows pizzazz when he sees it. See you, Devesh. Double shoulder block. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Oh, oh, look at the well Dude, I'm going to lose. Right He's glitching. He's glitching. He's got to leave. That happens so much. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And he barely evades. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. He's absorbed some damage already. Rose causing damage, causing harm. You saw the original. The director's cut. Uh oh, position in. Measuring. Oh, knee drop. Woo! And Eric can't stop any offense coming his way. Cody's getting that unstoppable look in his eyes. Drops a knee. Oh! Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Dodges out of the way. Instead, what a German suplex. Oh, man. That's mounted with punches. And, not, and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Man, poor Eric. He's getting his fucking ass kicked. Stomping down. Oh, man. Oh, what a kick. And he's able to counter. And he saw that coming from Eric. Back and forth, back and forth. Looking for the advantage here. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. And a series of vicious stops. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Oh, for God's sake, don't ignore. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalks. No, if I was going to play Dragon's Dominic 2, you would have seen it already, bro. I mentioned that it's not my style, so... I'll get him. I know I got a win with Rhodes. Uh -oh, meet me in the basement. I've got a foot to the face for him. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display. Hold on. Here. And a carefully measured knee drop. Oh, ouch. Shark punch. Eric fires back. Oh. oh I missed it. Oh my god, she's distracting him. That is so annoying. I was about to go hit the crossroads. Just ignore it, dude. Come on, come on, come on. I'm. S oh my god, that is the most annoying shit ever. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Whoever you want to tag in, I'd rather go Gets off. The tag. That's probably for the best. He's getting. What a dumbass. Cody. Oh, God, and then he's going to hit reverse everything in the, under the sun. Get down. Dude, why does he get to just smash it? God damn it. <laughs> Three times the charm, I guess. Yeah, the timing took too long. Sidewalks. 
Side Russian leg sweep. It could be over here. This is it. Stopping the refs count at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this? I am quite in shock, honestly. is being neutralized. Well placed, he dropped in the skull. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Damn. Oh, I messed up. This match is taking longer than I had anticipated. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Nice suplex. Cody's got to get the win, though. That's the annoying yeah, thing. I've been waiting to see that. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, my God. He's spamming he moves. I'm trying to reverse him. Oh my god, this distraction shit is so annoying, bro. Get her out of here. How come the ref is still not ejecting her? I still can't move. It's so long. I think that's stupid. Like, it makes no sense. Clearly targeting the shoulder. Tag is made. What a shot! Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. No way! Hey, Gemma. Rose looking to end this. That's got to be it. it. That's got to be it. Finally. Finally, it's over. If I didn't get that, I was uh, going to tag myself in, like, earlier. I got a better introduction there. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. Yeah, this isn't going to sit well with the Viking Raiders. I can't wait for the next time these teams face off. Hmm. Uh, we're in my rise. Story mode, basically. Chance for champs. After their awesome win last week, Rhodes and Dan will square off against SmackDown tag champs Ridge Holland and Butch. We aren't going to roll over and hand you our titles. We are going to give you a fight. All right. Hey, partner. You ready to win some tag team gold? Yeah. Partner? I'm your partner now? Wait. What have you been out of shape about now? We won our match, and now we've got a title opportunity. Which sure is great. I guess I just didn't realize that our team was the dark horse and the show horse. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you spent our whole match out there hogging the spotlight instead of working as a team. I did what was necessary to win. That's a problem for you? No, no problem. I just see you, Cody. I see you. What you need to see is that our next opponents are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they are not going down without a fight. Don't worry, I'm focused. My eyes are most definitely on the prize. Good, then maybe the next time we see each other at an airport, we'll be carrying heavier bags. All right, it's time for tag gold. Am I gonna win the title though? Because if he, he got the pin there, I think I have to do it. Going into a tag team title match, it's very rare Get it to feel like the champions are the underdogs, but I think that's the case tonight. You might be right. It is going to be hard. To that really sucked. Two world champions. 
No way. The Dark Horse and Cody Rhodes are going to be fighting at the Royal Rumble, and I bet they'll get into a fight tonight. You can't beat the real tag team chemistry of our SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Oh, man. Knees up, had that telegraph, but can it be capitalized on? And that stops what Butch had intended. Placing them into the corner, able to parry that one. What happened there? A counter answered by another counter. And both athletes showing that they have each other. Butch Cassidy over here is the person everything. To the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. Yes, Fred, I will be. Butch now going to the top. From the top. Fist directly to the gut. I mean, I've been playing the F1 games for the last uh, two years now, I believe. Makes him pay with a so. counter. Man, I'm just trying to get a fucking tag. It won't let me tag. Oh, God. What's the story with that? One count at this point. Oh man! He didn't need that. Option. Champ's got the pen to retain. The challenger gets a shoulder up. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. The animations aren't popping out for shit, so it's really annoying. Oh, right in the, That looked like it was in the plums. Vicious right forearm. F5! Thunderous! Tag is registered. Oh, and a kick. Rolling into a monkey flip. Damn, that was big for Rhodes. Absolutely throwing all caution to the See, Fred. Spinning in the face of danger. I knew he was going to reverse that. He was on the doorstep. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Switching it up. I read. Getting air with that forearm. And Rhodes able to reverse that. Spring nice droppy. Drop kick. Whoa. <laughs> off the tag looks like he has his finger on the trigger now oh what a spear the champ's eyes look glazed over sends the knee into the ouch face. stop you and stop it He's stop dude this point. is so annoying Dude, he's reversing everything. That's such horse shit. Damn it. Now I don't have it. So. Isn't that stupid? I mean, he reversed everything? Like, give me a fucking break. So I have to win as me. But. I have a very damaging. Oh, of course he did. Very damaging aerial, so and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. And he slides him back to the mat. Boom! He's heading up top. Thinking big from the top. Are you kidding me? The champ looking out of sorts. The cover for the championship. Going for it. He stops the count for his partner. Uh-oh. That 
He can't come in now. His push can't come in, so we'll see what happens. Good night. Champion and the world heavyweight champion are on a collision course for the Royal Rumble. But now they are SmackDown tag team champions together. That's going to be a lot of hardware for them to carry around. More importantly, this is an alliance that could explode at any moment. Miz is a genius. The WWE Universe definitely approves of the new tag champs. Why wouldn't they? It's not too often you see this kind of star power in the ring at the same time, let alone on the same team. Do it. Hit him. You know you want to. Who are you talking to, Corey? Both of them. I can't stand either one of these guys. These men are now the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they're on shaky ground at best. How are they going to coexist until the Royal Rumble? I hope they don't. Anyway, so that's that. Man, Cena's championship, 380 days. It felt longer than that. They're all about longevity in here. I like it when a tag belt switched more frequently. It's one thing having it a few months, but like a year's on end is just so fucking boring. Like change hands because you know it's scripted, right? It was one thing if they're actually just defending it naturally and like, you know what I mean? There's no script. Just go do whatever you just your ability, but they're writing it in for them to hold the. That's why it's annoying. That's the thing. You know what I mean? Champ, how you feeling? Much to my surprise, I'm feeling great. I thought Miz was out of his mind teaming us up, but it's worked out pretty damn good. Cheers to that. Another lucky break. Another lucky break. Even when you dole out compliments, you manage to make them patronizing. The word lucky triggers you? I've just been hearing it for a long time. Because you got lucky beating me for the WWE Universal title. All right. Gloves off, here we go. What would you call it? I had you beat when Roman came in. It's been more than two years, Cody. You, Reigns, Miz, all of you keep talking fluke like I haven't been beating everybody who comes at me. You haven't beaten me. Not until the Rumble, partner. We'll see. For now, we have one more title defense before then. See if you can keep your ego in check long enough that we can win the damn match. It's got a point. Look at all that gold at ringside. The Dark Horse and the American Nightmare seem unbeatable. Not so fast, Saxton. I've heard rumors that the champions have had backstage issues, and typically those types of things spill over into the ring. Well, we'll have to see how that plays out here tonight. Ah. And Zagiri finds its mark. Bam! Assaulting the knee with purpose. Ooh! He's able to sidestep there. Oh, of course he did. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Oh, the Enzigiri. The champ tags. Cody refused it. He's walking out on his partner. Things are it's so odd. It's not really. It's not a Cody world. thing. It's I not his so. current. This just became a you know. handicap match. Like a brick wall running into you. Comes in off the tag. Slim blade. Ridiculous standing shooting star. A big showing of agility from the champ there. Bang. Oh god, that hurt. Boom. Oh my god, and a spine. That'll make your legs go numb. Oh, solid kick across the back. No mercy being shown to Gable here. You were, what was that about? What does this do to Gable's confidence? I think so. After that, that's money. Got it. And they stay atop the tag division.
I don't know why Otis didn't stay tagged, and he tagged him out immediately. <laughs> and still, Daddy Dan Q. So funny. Where's my other one at? Still, Daddy Dan Q. <laughs> he doesn't change names, believe it or not, this weirdo. I've been part of a lot of teams, but never with someone as jealous and narcissistic as Dan. The only thing he gets through me, the thing that gets me through it, is the fact that I'm going to beat him for the Universal title at Royal Rumble. Just seen this coming. You have a thing for walking away from when a situation gets tough. Where the hell is Miz? Uh, uh, I haven't seen Miz, Miz in a while. Is at a very important media promotional event? He hightailed it as soon as Cody jumped off that apron, didn't he? Have you checked your social media? People love the drama between you and Cody. Besides, you guys can fix things up before your next match. There's not going to be a next match, because I have had enough of that sanctimonious, entitled SOB. Our run as a team, it is over. So you can have your tag team championship back, because I am done. Miz is not going to be happy about this. I don't care. When I beat Cody Rhodes for the heavyweight title at the Royal Rumble, I'll be able to go to any brand I want, any time I want. Miz's control over my career will be finished once and for all. Huh. Your boss is really not going to be happy about that. Reuse the universe has been waiting for Dan and Cody, the rematch. Gold defined them, brought them together, tore them apart. Now brings them back to face each other once again. Tonight, the Rumble, one of these men walks out of the Universal. One, one of them walks out with the Universal and World Heavyweight Championship, becomes a legend. Legend, more like just another wannabe attempting to follow in my footsteps. If you're looking for a real legend, I'll be on the set of my latest soon to be hit movie. Ugh, so cringe, bro. It's so cringe. Before one of the most stacked rumbles in recent history, we have a match stacked with drama. Two champions scoring off, but only one will leave with all the gold. And We've I missed. We've seen the WWE Universal Champion go from dark horse to unbeatable phenomenon. But the one this storyline felt a bit rushed really just because of the, the nature of it. The undisputed part of that title has been disputed since Roman Reigns vacated it. Tonight, that debate could be settled once and for all. He takes control. Bang! That was a, that was a new move, though. Cody Rhodes hooking up his opponent. The final cut. <laughs> Perfectly executed. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. I will say Rhodes' lisp has gotten better over the years. It used to be so bad. I'm like, man, your tongue does not have to be in the way of everything you say. And Rhodes is countered. And he's reversing Same everything. Answer for every move attempted. Oh, I'm, normally I'm good at the timing on that. That was kind of a bad idea. Oh, man, it should work. Hell of a gamble. It paid off. Cody retaliates. What a forearm shiver. Able to elude it. With a clothesline. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Cody building his attack brick by brick. Look at this. Wow, where's my reversal? A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. The fist to the face. Great counter. Brought out of ringside and back to the mat. Big forearm. And Zagiri finds its mark. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now oh, into a powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. What is going on? Really? I wasn't hitting him. I was waiting for a reversal, but it didn't really come. I'd say Cody is winning this match. I'm doing more damage, but he's got more momentum than I do. Oh, misses the mark. Working the mid 
midsection there. And he's able to reverse. Each competitor patting down the hatches. These two are unloading. Oof. The fight is on, and it's furious. Great counter. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned. This went to gold. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Super kick! And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Oh, what a spear! A championship level move. I'm doing both. This lands, it's over. Oh no! That was my opportunity. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. He hit me with the crosser. Oh man, that is actually how it would end. Got it. Look at that. I'm absolutely stunned. A display of near Didn't even need resiliency. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take to keep this competitor down. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. Using the ropes as a launching pad. Ooh. Body. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Quick return to the ring. Off the turnbuckle from the heavens. Whoa, what a landing. Big damage. No who you are when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Oh. Uh, they made changes to it years ago, actually. It's very similar to the other ones. That's it. He's toasted. Going <laughs> Kiss your dreams. Good night. Two. Wow. We are. We might see a new champ here today. Don't put the car before the Wow, how is this still going? And has no intentions on losing that title anytime soon. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. But oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Down he goes. The champ not in a great place. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Yeah. Oh, a reverse DDT. Ooh. He knows how to avoid contact. Hanging back with their own counter. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Oh, oh what a kick. Rose tied that one. Oh, it was way too early. That's not gonna do it. Are you kidding me? He kicks out before the count starts. What's it gonna take to put this match away? The American nightmare. I might need resiliency here. We'll see. No, I don't. gotta be kidding me. Oh! Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust. Maybe it's so janky. We're jumping for joy. Fuck this game. It wasn't. Like, it makes no sense, bro. That should have been... I've been trying to do the... The American Nightmare feels like adrenaline in his soul. Fucking game. There it is. That's it. Damn right. Ladies and gentlemen, here See you, John. is your undisputed WWE Universal and World Heavy Champion. Daddy world Heavy Champion? He did it. You're looking at the band. Like, did nobody check this? Did nobody, like, check their work? WWE Universal Champion and World Heavyweight Champion. After defeating As you do. Cody Rhodes to hold all the gold, he's also now just a few months away from breaking Roman. Yeah, well, that should be the end of that story. I didn't even need my resiliency. I just knew that know the timing of the single, and it's like that's a tough one. But I know the timing of the single bounce. You let it go to the end, bounce back. So, yeah, I eat my ass. So I actually will be able to upgrade one more stat line.
which is interesting. Um, he's done it. Dan defeated Cody to become the undisputed Universal World Heavyweight Champ. Uh, superstar with all the gold will be on Raw tonight. Fun fact, Dan will tie Roman Reigns' record. Yes, we know this. Okay, I'm going to go to my attributes. And, oh, right. I forgot about that. I forgot I put this into aerial running. So I can... It's not possible to max it out, but it's very close. It's possible to max out one or the other. Because I would have had enough for the other one. But this brings my submission up. Plus, we have a boost. So that's it. That, it I like how it just cock blocks. Even though you have it almost full, you can never get 97 overall. Or you can't get a 98. Anyway, this one is for the record. This is the final... One in uh, the final mission in the game. It won the story, so we'll wrap this up. Good to see you, champ. Congratulations on your big win against Cody at the Rumble. Huh. Feels good to finally quiet the critics. Indeed. And good to have you back here on Raw 2. Although last time you visited, it ended with me sporting a black eye. Ah, it was a heated moment and you got caught in the crossfire. Sorry about that. We good? I've been in this business for 40 years. If I cut ties with everyone who's punched me in the face, I'd have no friends. I'm glad we can move past that and focus on what's next. Don't you mean, who's next? Since you're holding all the gold, you'll be facing the winner of last night's Royal Rumble match, Montez Ford. I've been wanting to mix it up with him for years. WrestleMania is going to be huge when I tear the house down with Ford. And tie Roman's record. Well, we're going to give the WWE Universe a preview of WrestleMania when you and Montez have a little chat in the ring tonight. Let's do this. Alright, it's on. God is good and so is winning the Royal Rumble. Tonight you're going to hear my, boy, my plans for WrestleMania. Hint, there's one dude with both titles, so proud of you, Montez. Come on, Ford. You're just kind of in here to be... You're just going to be a statistic. You're just going to be a footnote. That's it. The newly crowned double champion is here on Raw to kick off the road to WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the undisputed WWE Universal World Heavyweight Champion! That's quite a mouthful, champ. I agree. Maybe we'll just call him the Undisputed Champion from now on. Well, hello there, Raw! <laughs> it's pretty damn cool to be back where I started, but on a whole different level. Speaking of reaching a whole new level, I'm not the only guy who had a good night at the Royal Rumble. See, there's a man who's got a WrestleMania main event to cash in. A superstar who's ready to make the leap. Honestly, he reminds me a bit of myself from a few years back. <laughs> so let me introduce you to this year's winner of the Royal Rumble match, Montez Ford! Oh, we're gonna see it now. The two biggest dogs in the yard are gonna face off. Both these men look ready to go. Well, they're gonna have to wait until WrestleMania. It's a mutual respect between Ford and the champion. What's this? It's not the best time for technical difficulties. It's Roman Reigns! This guy will not let our champion celebrate a single moment. Undisputed, huh? Look at you. Peacocking around like you mean something. That title you took from Cody at the Rumble? They made it up. Because nobody could beat me. I am so tired of hearing people compare you to me. Are you so deluded that you really think I would let a pretender like you tie my record with the universal title? 
Nah. Mm -mm. Come on. You shouldn't even be there. Montez Ford! You're a young man with a bright future. I'm sorry to say this, but you're not the guy I can count on to beat this clown at Mania. So there's been a change of plans. See? What I did is I took a big briefcase full of my Hollywood money, flew in my private jet out to the woods of Minnesota, and I hired myself a hunter who knows a little something about ending streaks at Mania. Hope it was fun while it lasted. Chin. What? The Beast is back! Montez Ford isn't gonna roll over for anyone. Here we go! F5! That's a murderous F5. From Brock. Ford is hurt. But here comes the champion. No! Solo Sokoa! Has the bloodline reunited? It certainly looks that way. Brock Lesnar just broke Ford's arm. Regal trying to restore some order. Stereo super kicks right to the GM's jaw. No, they have to stop. Regal's not a competitor anymore. Welcome to Suplex City, champ. Montez Ford is down. Regal is down. Dark Horse is down. Who can stop Brock Lesnar and the Bloodline? The reunited Bloodline and Brock are working together to break the undisputed champion before he can make it to WrestleMania. And the champ can't do a damn thing about it. That's not true. He hasn't won anything. Royal Rumble match winner Ford sustained a broken arm at the hands of Lesnar, costing Ford his WrestleMania title opportunity. Universal and World Heavyweight Champ Dan has demanded a match for all the gold with Lesnar instead. That's why I'm the head of the table. You all thought Bloodline was dead, but we came back stronger than ever with a beast. I'm going to sit back and watch Brock Lesnar and Dan's dream be reading my record. It's a day one, day two kind of scenario. Isn't this great? Roman's brilliant plan put Regal in the hospital. So... There's no debate now. Who's the best GM in WWE? It's me! You are the picture of class, Miz. I have exactly zero patience for you or any of this. I want the bloodline, and I want them now. I am generally not in the give the dark horse what he wants business. But in this case, I cannot wait to see Brock and the bloodline break you and your big dreams of beating Roman's record at Mania. Hmm. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. You don't even sound sure yourself, but whatever. You wanna get the hell kicked out of you on the way to Mania? Who am I to stop the fun? Okay, hold on guys, I'll be right back.
All right, guys, we're back. Sorry. Oh fuck! What the hell? Where does my stream drop frames? Why? I never understand this. Like, for weeks and weeks and weeks, the stream will be in perfect shape. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, it'll be random dr frame drops for no reason at all. So it's. Thanks. Should be okay now, though. I don't think it's dropping anymore. It's random burst. Hey, I hear you're going after the bloodline after what they did to you and Regal. I am. They're going to get what's coming to them. Nobody knows the bloodline better than I do. I know your story, Sammy. You don't. You only know what you saw on TV. Let me help you take them down. Sammy, I appreciate that. I do. But this is something I have to do on my own. Look, I tried to take out the bloodline alone and it didn't work. You need backup. I owe my career to Regal. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him having faith in me when nobody else did. And then the bloodline tore him apart while I did nothing. Nothing. I hear you, but I'm telling you, you're making a mistake trying to do this alone. We haven't even talked about the fact that they have Brock Lesnar now. I don't have time for any of this. I'm done talking. I'm taking down the bloodline. Now. Well, I tried. Good luck, champ. You're gonna need it. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. It's time for the bloodline to start looking over their shoulders for a change. Why would you warn them? I don't get it. Why would you warn them? If you actually plan on a... F you know... With the bloodline reunited and stronger than ever, you can see the confidence in Solo Sokoa. It's the undisputed champ! He's taking a big risk if you ask me. This is our undisputed champion attacking Solo in the parking lot? What has the bloodline been up to for the past few years? This is a small taste of their own medicine. The champ better finish when he started here because what you don't want is an angry Solo Sokoa coming after you. Whose animation's faster? Spinning heel kick! And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Just run him over. Like the good old days of WWE, we just ran people over with cars. Big drop of the leg. Boom, running at this one doesn't matter. Nicely done. Oh, look at the knees. Endless knee strikes. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. Off the leg drop. What? Leg drop. Man, I just can't get my timing. There you go. Capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake. Ah, and I ran. I ran so far away. Spin around, spin! <laughs> I just ran. No! I did this for the beacon. I did it for the universe. I did it. Oh, shut your mouth, dong, win, buddy. Maybe I'll have to beat Stone Cold Steve Oust. And now they're sending him up for something else. Right into the sun. Gotta drink some Steve Wises. Get in my pickup truck. Listen to some Backstreet Boys. Or maybe uh, I gotta It'll defeat like the, the game. 
Shane in the middle of the ring. <laughs> He's got a five dollar slut for a wafer. Uh, <laughs> the best promo ever. For the second time, the newly reformed bloodline has left our undisputed champion lying. Or maybe The Rock is gonna have to beat Kurt Angle, which means I'm gonna have to drink a big glass of milk. <laughs> Eat some chocolate chip cookies, then maybe I'll take three Viagra. <laughs> it's so random. Uh. Breaking. After sustaining injuries due to the bloodline's brute, I'm fine. Dan has been released from local medical facility. It's fine. All of my family did the dark horse. I'd you like a trip to the glue factory. Wow, the glue factory? Damn, that's harsh. That didn't turn out so well. No, it did not. <sighs> yeah, maybe you were right. There is no taking the bloodline out one at a time. There's only taking them all out in a single blow with even numbers. The Usos have a match tonight. I should strike afterwards when they least expect it. Or, should I say, we. You win? Yep, but knowing how they operate, we're gonna need one more guy. You got someone in mind? I do. Seth Rollins, or should we bring back Kevin Owens? I can't remember who we picked last time. Kevin Owens makes sense because you know Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens used to be a team, um, and they're good friends as well. KO Let's makes sense. Let's do this. Not that it matters. It's just who you're playing with. I can't remember if I picked KO last time or not. To be honest, I forgot. That's on me. Hey, Reigns. How's the weather out in LA? Stoked for your cousin's match tonight. Definitely check it out. Gonna be a barn burner. Stop warning them what's gonna happen. Stop warning them. These guys don't warn you when you're about to get your ass whooped. It just happens. And then they talk. Another big win for the Usos. These guys have been on a roll ever since the Bloodline reunited. Wait. Wait. It's the champ and Sami Zayn. We know his history with the bloodline, and they're taking it to the Usos. Honorary Us. The sides have been even up, at least for now. Sami Zayn and the undisputed champion are getting after the Usos, sending a direct message to Roman Reigns. Actions speak louder than words, Cole, and the champ is speaking loudly by taking the blood. Man, I could have reversed it like so this. many times when I hit the wrong reversal. The the All completely on me. He was smart to bring the old rival, Sami Zayn, to the fight. Gets him with the counter. Oh, my God. Jumping impact. Just one step ahead. Damn, Jimmy. Jumping. This is some serious go May shit. What agility. What is happening? Can't quite. Ooh, ooh. He's in a bad way. Now what? No, I need you. Shooting star on the floor. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Up high. Toss back into the ring. Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Drops the hammer. Oh, my God. I don't have time for this reversal shit. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. There he goes. Right. This isn't a match. It's just a fight. Hard strikes from Let the champ. No. <laughs> but here comes Solo Sokoa. Solo nails the champion with a headbutt. So much for evening the odds. The bloodline now is a three on two advantage. For now. Not anymore. The champ and his little buddies walked the bloodline right into a trap. Sammy sends Jey Uso over the top. And there goes Jimmy. What a shot to Solo Sokoa. He got knocked right out of the ring. They jumped the bloodline from behind, and then they act like they won some kind of fair fight. As soon as the sides were even, the bloodline ran for the hills. It's called a strategic retreat, Cole. The balance of power just shifted on the road to WrestleMania. It's an interesting flip, because you feel like this group is kind of heel origins. It just depends. Like, I mean... The thing is, I feel like K 
KO has never really been a face. No idea. Like, he's been not a heel, but even when he's not a heel, he's still kind of an ass. You know, there's still kind of that... Because uh, he plays... There's certain there's certain superstars who play the heel so well. So it's just kind of bizarre to see them in face. But it happens. Anyway, I think he's pretty smart. Sammy and the only other ally the Dark Horse can ever find are going to regret it for the rest of their lives. And all that's going to be left at Mania are bones for the beast to pick. Don't let me down, do so in Sokoa. Or else I'm going to bring my Hollywood millions and hire a hitman. <laughs> Hollywood millions. Only fans doesn't count, Reigns. Hey, Tito. You must be feeling pretty good about yourself after outsmarting the bloodline. Well, you get to keep riding that high because I have some good news for you. That would be a first. Miz has made a match. You and your two self-destructive brothers in arms are going to take on the Bloodline in a no disqualification six-man tornado tag match. Fucking shit oh, show. You managed to get that out without looking at the note on your hand. Good job, Troy. We accept. Ooh, kill him. I admire your fortitude in taking this fight of the bloodline, but you're so close to matching Reigns' record and stepping out of his shadow once and for all. Walking into WrestleMania injured or not walking in at all would throw it all away. Appreciate you, but I know what I'm doing. Your focus, you focus on getting healthy. I want you at Mania to see me make history. Before we get to WrestleMania, the undisputed champion and his allies take on the reformed bloodline. See, I don't even know the game didn't even know who was attacking. Match. These two sides have had some vicious battles out of late. And now, referee in position. He is too fresh to have been kept down there. What's he gonna do here? He went right into that turnbuckle. That didn't go as solo picture. So I was trying to double team with you. What has happened? Oh god, I'm being doubled. Putting up a united front as this match continues. A move like that, it really just discombobulates a person. Changes the whole complexion of the match. Time to go for a ride. Thanks. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Two count. No, he kicks out at two. Really caught off guard going for it at this point. DDT. What a hit from Owens. Ooh. He goes for the quick pin. And we see Zayn. And a kick out. Not time to expect victory yet. Springboard. I had to get some ISO from all these guys. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Ooh. From a seated position. Oh, Missed it anyway. Draft decision making. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Look at the torque. There's no a single leg camel pins in a great camera. That didn't work. I was trying to grab him, but like a I accidentally climbed up on the apron. Now I'm stunned. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. He's oh, he's gonna land on me. I can't reverse this. What a shit show. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Oh, oh. Seats. Take all the wind out of you. No, not yet, Tito. I'm still working on I mean, I, I have to come back to it. So. Oh, man. Bam. Playoffs are coming up, so I'm kind of focusing. I'll probably go back to it around that time. Kick out of. Oh, 
Count it. It might. No, he's got resiliency. He had resiliency. That might be it. He breaks the ref's count after one. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Jay out of there in a hurry. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Here's his window. Will he take advantage? He thinks he has. That's it. Fucked him up. Good timing. It's all about timing. Roman's insurance policy did not pay off. Look at the arrogance of these guys. That's not arrogance, Corey. That's pride. These guys are going to have a lot of explaining to do when the head of the table calls them into the next board meeting. Roman cannot be happy right now. Brock Lesnar with a chair. from Brock. At least he dropped the chair. No, 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 no. And a five out of the steel chair. The undisputed champion is hurt. What kind of shape is he going to be in this Saturday at WrestleMania? Reigns' plan didn't fail after all. We forgot about his newest associate. Roman's record is secure. All hail our next undisputed champion, Brock. Lesnar. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. So we have to try and take out Brock and then ultimately Reigns. One sec, guys. Okay. My family let me down again, but I don't need them. I can't wait to kick back on my trailer on the set of my new movie and watch The Beast devour whatever's left of that horse meat. I warned you. Now the receipt's on. Okay, sorry, guys. Just making sure we're good. Night one, WrestleMania is upon us. 24 hours before Dan with Ty Roman Reigns record sitting, setting Universal Championship run. Dark Horse defends his championship against Rhett Lesnar in tonight's main event. The walking wounded have arrived. I'm honestly surprised you made it after what Brock did to you and your friends last week. Three plus years, Miz. I'd think you would have learned about doubting me by now. Tonight, those doubts finally come true. I tried to warn you years ago that this would end in tears. That you would come this close in getting out of Roman's shadow and failed at the finish line is going to eat you up for the rest of your life. You know the definition of insanity, right? Repeating the same action again and again, expecting different results. So what? So that's you underestimating me, and having it blow up in your face every time. Not this time. Not against Brock Lesnar! I'm gonna paint you a picture. I keep my titles tonight, tying Roman's universal record. Then tomorrow, I watch night two of Mania, with my feet up in a skybox as the clock strikes midnight, and I beat Roman's record. No! Yes, Miz. Yes. And then, on SmackDown, you are going to have the honor of introducing me as the longest reigning Universal Champion in WWE history. 
I guarantee you, that will not happen. Bro, that's exactly what's going to happen. Alright, time for day one. My surgeons are cross with me. Surgeons, what happened? Doctors, in Britain we call doctors surgeons. Another time. The point is, I've ignored their advice. I'm coming to WrestleMania. I want to see you face Brock in person. I can't say I support this decision, but I appreciate the vote of confidence. I have faith in you, champ. I love how he, forg he, completely, he totally forgave the punch. Like, he knew that, too. Alright, so this is match number one. Facing Lesnar in day one. One day. One more day. And the undisputed champion goes into history, but tying Roman Reigns' title run. One day? I thought you meant that the champ has one more day on Earth. After all, he is running head on into a buzzsaw named Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Oh my God. Streaks at WrestleMania. Will the champion Gotta hit him with the calm breezes. Make history? Or will the beast devour another Hey, John. Oh, Yohani, excuse me. On the What's grandest up? stage of them all. And the champ now having to deal with the relentless strikes from a motivated challenger. Big forearm. Oh, saw it coming. Ah, oh, snapbear takedown and a kick right to the spine. Go! Swans the crunch is my favorite. Oh. Strikes with a kick. Oh. From the ground up. Nope. Reversal. I was gonna say I don't think that's in my repertoire for moves. Lesnar on the wrong side of that exchange. Oh, leaping through the air. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. No need to panic. He's still swinging. And Zagiri finds its mark. Ooh! Oh, a step up in Zagiri. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Oh, he got out of that money. Rock with the quick wherewithal. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Hell of a gamble! Ooh! My goodness, that did not go as planned. Might have been a bad plan to begin with. Oh my god, a DDT! Spike them. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. The champion's intentions are clear after that massive powerbomb. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before, from way up, oh, I missed him. That's dumb. And he's able to reverse. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Lesnar is overwhelmed. Lesnar is overwhelmed. Lesnar needs to reassess his strategy. Kick lands. He moved, but can he? Oh, I tried to reverse it. There was no reversal option. Might be enough. I don't know if it's enough. We'll see. I have another finisher. The champion thought that was it. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship needs. If this lands, it's over. Don't reverse. Oh. Hoisting their opponent. I hate wasting them because then you got to do it all over again. Oh, I thought I got it. Oh, man. So it begins. Sends his opponent into orbit. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. 
Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Clearly waiting for that. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Oh, it took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table down there by the monitor. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. And a reverse DDT. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. From the heavens. Ooh. Oh, just crashing down with high impact. Into the ring now. He wants even more out of his opponent. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Oh, into a power bomb. And his core has been taking a beating. And you have to wonder if that's affecting his breathing. Ooh. Lesnar moved. He right to the gut. Connects on the kick. The Beast is feeding off the energy in the WWE Universe. Display. He eludes the contact. Ah, oh, same thing. Oh, I think we're gonna see it. Oh, I missed it. Lesnar. Oh my. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Shit! Ah, oh, I don't know what happened. And now Brock Lesnar. That's really annoying. What a waste of time. Champion. That shouldn't have been the case. Whoa, that's so fucking aggravating. Just because you make a couple of little mistakes, it can mess up the entire time. One day. I thought you meant that Chip has one more day on Earth. After all, he is running head on into a buzzsaw named Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is no... A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. The official furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Oh, kicked to the side of the face. Ducking out of trouble. Oh, Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Set him up for the flatliner. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh, Shit! Returning to the ring now. A huge Fuck that up. I didn't think he'd get up so quickly. Bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Launching. Oh, did you guys feel the rumble from that impact? It's annoying. Got the arm trapped. Vicious. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. And he's able to counter. And Zagiri finds its mark. Ooh. Ooh, stinging kick. Lesnar gets out of the way. Bro, we don't here? have the time for this shit. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. You don't understand. If you if you can win by count out, but you won't win the title, here. dumbass. We almost just saw a count out, and that definitely made solid impact. I'm trying to do the fucking combos, but I can't. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. Snap their takeover. Oh, look at the kick. Oh. Hit him with his own. Uh -oh. It's the F8, though. It's a little bit more power. Oh, of course he reverses it. God damn it! So sick of grinding away. It takes so fucking long to do the same shit. City. Go ahead and pin me and I'll lose immediately. And the champ beats the count early. He didn't even let the ref start the Oh god. Missed it. I'm done. Gonna see a new champ. Cover. Two. I had to use it. So annoying, man. Like, you just, they just go on a series of moves. I'm just trying to get up to move over to the fucking ground. Fucking reverse! Jesus! Springboard! Shooting stop! 
bitch. Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. He manages to escape. See, his sprint is so much faster than anybody else's. Nicely done. Very, very dangerous looking taunt there. And that one misses the mark. Enziary. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. I don't think it'll be enough, but you never know. I don't think it's enough. Too soon. Keeping the championship dream alive. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Won't be time to think outside the box. Lesnar gets out of the way. Waist lock applied, but their opponent from the opposition. Swing by! Oh, ouch. Stick kick. Super kick! I think we know what's coming next. Two is too many. Got him. He's done, He's done it. By the end of WrestleMania weekend, the undisputed champion will have tied Roman Reigns' record setting reign with the WWE Universal title. I can't believe it. It's about time you started to believe. Not this. Roman Reigns interrupting the champion's moment again at WrestleMania. You know what, Roman? I don't want to hear it! You've been doing this for three years now. Instead of... What is it you're doing? Celebrity guest host on some game show? Shilling your new NFT? Or maybe, just maybe, you're filming another cameo in a failing sequel! Don't know what to say without a script? I'll help you out. The only table you're the head of anymore is the one that Rock brushes his crumbs onto. I'm here. I'm doing the work. And the only thing... I'm sure you got a lot to say, but it doesn't matter. When you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Too busy tomorrow night, champ. Because the landlord is back. And rent is due. Do we have a new WWE Universal Championship match set for night two of WrestleMania? This is unprecedented. The undisputed champ might as well kiss breaking Roman's record goodbye. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, one more match to go. WrestleMania Night 2. Kayla, Night 1 of WrestleMania yeah. was an incredible experience, but all of the focus now is on what happened after the undisputed champion defeated Brock Lesnar. That's right, Byron. Roman Reigns made a shocking return by laying out the champion right after his successful main event defense. The Dark Horse slayed the beast, but immediately fell to the head of the table. Roman Reigns then issued a challenge for tonight. And the undisputed champ accepted. 
For the first time in WrestleMania history, one superstar will be main eventing both nights. In addition to Charlotte Flair's huge Women's World Championship defense against Gigi Dolan, the WWE Universal title will be on the line. The undisputed champ will defend against Roman Reigns, who stated that his only interest is taking back his Universal title. At midnight tonight, whichever man wins will walk out the longest reigning WWE Universal Champion in history. Get ready for history to be made on night two of WrestleMania. All right, it all comes down to this once again. I give to Dan the Universal title, and now I'm going to get it back. I don't need a bloodline. I don't need a beast. I'm going to take my title, whatever dignity their imposter is left with me tonight. WrestleMania is my table. It's a good hype up. You made it. I told you. I wouldn't miss this for the world. How are you feeling? You ready? You know, I've been getting the hell beat out of me for days. My ribs ache so bad it hurts to breathe. And uh, knowing Miz, I'm sure I'll have something up his sleeve. Typical Sunday night, then. Pretty much. I'd give you the full Churchill. But I don't think you need inspirational speeches anymore. No? You're a champion. Twice over. You've more than fulfilled your potential. So I'll save the pretty words for the next kid coming up. Thanks, Regal. For everything. Congratulations, champ. So this is this is different. GG's here, and now we have the... So this is a different cutscene because we chose a different chapter. Thanks. I said I was going to go to Raw and win their title, and that's what I did. And now it's your turn to deliver. You want out of Roman's shadow? This is the moment. I feel like hell, but I'll make it. I think I'm the only person who believes I'm going to win, but... Oh, stop with that. What? Nobody believes in me. Everyone thinks Roman's going to win, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it's exhausting. Wow. Stiff. Seriously, how are you still dealing with imposter syndrome after three plus years as champion? I mean, I guess I just... You're so used to people doubting you that you won't let them believe in you. Woods, Rollins, Rhodes, Lesnar, you be everyone who came for that belt, while Roman, holy art thou reigns, was sipping organic smoothies in an air-conditioned trailer. <laughs> I'm right, though. You might not feel like it, but you're not the dark horse anymore. You're the... the horse that people expect to win. The favorite? That's right. You're the favorite. So go out there and prove all of us right. All right, guys. One last match. The time has come. Dan defends his undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Roman Reigns next at WrestleMania. Fanny pack and all. That's where I carry all my uh, my bag of tricks. I have a fanny pack of tricks, not a bag of tricks. We're about to unleash hell. The princess. Let's go. All right, guys, it's going down. Let's get this over with. No more cheese, no more lettuce. The history of WWE will be changed forever tonight. With Roman Reigns shocking oh. WrestleMania return, we will find out who is the greatest champion of all time. 
This book won't be written by history scholars. It'll be written by the battle of wills between two of the best competitors in the modern era. Roman Reigns helped create this title run. Tonight, will he be able to destroy it? Or will his creation come back to ultimately surpass his own legend? Oh! Running Swanton finds the mark. Boom! What do they have planned here? Oh! Inverted layout! DDT! Reigns is getting dismantled here. Roman's on the wrong side of this exchange. Your perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Oh, and a step up in Zagari. Oh, Swanton. Swing shot. Cross Ooh, got him. Outside. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And gets tossed back into the mat. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. I just wanted to bank a finisher before I did the objective. Irish whip. Reigns reverses. Spear. Ooh. Spear. The undisputed champion hit Reigns with his own move. Hold on. Roman's got a hold of the champion. Reigns has locked in a guillotine submission. What is Miz doing out here? He's calling for the bell. Miz must have heard the champ give up. This is Montreal all over again. No. Not tonight, Miz. SmackDown's GM is out cold. Call off the match and get help for the Miz. Reigns on the move, guys. And but the champ moved. Reigns just broke one of our producers in half. I never liked that guy. Miz's last-ditch attempt to screw the dark horse out of the WWE Universal Championship has ended in carnage. It looks like this war will continue. <laughs> just hit him with another one. Let's see if it's enough. I don't think so. Oh, it was! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the undisputed champion That's poetic. This is the greatest way to go out. WWE Universal title record by beating the man himself. Correction, Byron. It's after midnight. So Roman's record has officially been shattered. It's a new day and a new record. I cannot believe it. It seemed like this day would never come. I don't think Roman can believe it either. The whole WWE Universe is in shock. Despite all the champion's accomplishments, there were still doubters that he could pull this off, myself included. I just want to soak this in. This is history right here. Wait, what's this? Roman Reigns about to head to the back, but now he's stopped. Is the head of the table about to finally acknowledge the undisputed champion? No, no. Look at Roman's face, Cole. The champion has not seen the last of him. Maybe not. But tonight is not about Roman Reigns. Tonight is about our record-breaking undisputed champion. He doesn't want or need Reigns' approval because he just beat him in the middle of the ring. That's right, Corey. Maybe it's time for you to acknowledge the Dark Horse after all these years. Agreeing with you is like biting a lemon, Saxton. But WrestleMania is all about moments. And even I have to admit that this guy, well, what he's done tonight is incredible. The champion has stepped out of Roman Reigns' shadow. He's overcome Miz's attempt to steal the title. He overcame years of obstacles. And tonight, he became a legend. For Byron Saxton, Corey Graves, I'm Michael Cole. And this is the end of WrestleMania and the beginning of a new era. <laughs> and the end of our story as well. All right, thanks for playing. Yeah, we already know all this. Okay. Well... We have done it, my friends. Both my rises 
all choices finished in terms of my rise we have completed every single trophy under the sun uh obviously the rest of the trophy is all um or so the rest of the trophies are all done in like just you know regular matches like quick action and things like that but if you go down to the my rise trophies which wherever the hell they are i don't even know uh down here i think yeah all these ones there you go anything to do with so undisputed unleashed they're all finished and then it's all the other modes so if i wanted to f go for the rest of them it'd just be involving some grinding apparently it's quite easy to do to be honest it just takes a bit of time so uh not a whole lot of differences from obviously the dif differing choices you just get in a unique chapter and obviously there's a few other characters that say different things that you know maybe a couple of the unique missions that aren't available uh in the main game but overall it was cool to go back and give it a go. I don't regret doing it. Obviously, there's this game it does need some work. It needs, uh, you know, needs some patches. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the gameplay itself, like you know, a lot of the moves. There's a lot of glitching. Some moves don't even pop out. You just like go through the guy and shit like that. It's just really annoying. But um, in terms of WWE 2K24, for now, I'm gonna go on a bit of a hiatus. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go back into anything. Like I haven't really done the universe mode in years. I used to do universe mode almost every year. Uh, I haven't done any of those things. So. I don't know, maybe that's something we'll see in the future, but for now, we're going to scroll back. We have new games coming out, uh, I believe, later, and not this week, but like next week, we have a ton of games, so we have a bit of a downtime, so I, I don't know, I'm going to figure out some stuff, probably do some more MLB and what have you. I've been enjoying MLB, so we'll probably do that next, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Turn on those post notifications as well with the bell icon so you don't miss anything that I put out here on the channel. Be sure to like, follow my socials as well. I've got a Facebook, X, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord, all linked in the description. If you want to get a shirt of hoodie of mine, there's a link in the description. Also, in a better future below the stream, you can scroll down and see some goodies I have there. Big shout out to all the sponsors, of course, DX Razor, Bones Coffee, The Ridge Wallet, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and Jinx Custom Controllers. I use their products daily. You can check them out for yourselves with the links in the description. Be sure to use my promo code, thank you 8000 to save at checkout with them. Finally, guys, be sure to check out and sign up for the Team 8000 membership program. If you haven't done so already, it does support the page immensely. There's four different tiers four different price points obviously the higher up in that list you go the better more perks you're going to get for your money but obviously the entry level is cheap easy to get into 99 cents guys so let's see if we can get there if you guys want to help uh join you'll get some obviously for sign up too you'll get perks like things like custom badges by your name custom emojis shoes and chat exclusive video stream access priority on open lobbies giveaways discounts plenty more working away back up to 400 members sitting at about 393 so it's only seven members away from hitting our uh next milestone of 400 so if you guys want to help us get there links are in the description to join that is join button below the stream one of my main channel pages as well. And if you want to gift members or send a super chat, you can do so right next to chat. You'll see a dollar sign. Give it a click. You'll get a drop down. And through that, you'll be able to gift anywhere from one to 50 uh, members at a single time. So be sure to check that out. I appreciate it. it. Supports the page a lot. Otherwise, thank you guys for coming. Hope you guys will have a fantastic rest of your day. And hopefully we catch you in the next stream tomorrow. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Peace.